Son of a bitch. All right, so uh, this was our save file. <laughs> I started off with the right save file. That's cool. But, you know, what? might as well have that for a refresher. It has been like, you know, a handful of days since the last stream. All right. Take your ass to bed now. Let's start the investigation. Today's the day the school was founded, so you got the day off from school. You need to investigate. You wonder if you'll be able to gather information. You need to catch the killer. I gotta catch that. Killer, killer. Alright. Probably the most annoying investigation that we have to do. Because there's no... There's no specific person you need to talk to. You gotta talk to everybody in town, really. Hmm, can I help you? About the murders. That incident's last spring. I still wonder what happened. It's a pretty big deal, wasn't it? I almost completely forgot about that. Wow, I must be getting old, huh? Alright. What is it? About the murders. Huh? What are you talking about? You explained about the incident involving Saki and Yamano, the female announcer. Announcer. Did all that happen just last spring? Wow, seems so long ago. Who's gonna remember something that far back anyways? I don't think this guy has anything to say, right? Just like, just like repent, the end is nigh. Oh, gotta head to the velvet room, by the way. I wrote that in my notes. Maria is nowhere to be found. Huh? There's another piece of paper on the floor. Something's written on it in horrible script. Wait, what? <laughs> something's, something's written on it in horrible script. Jesus, why you got why you got a shit on her writing like that? Like, man, this shit is horrible. As if someone wrote it with their offhand. Release yourself. Release yourself from desire, from impulse. Logic and rationales are excuses for the weak. Man, it sounds like Twitter. Release yourself. Your heart's voice. Your internal scream. Yeah, that's definitely Twitter. In exchange for a lost voice. Grab hold of your proof of life. Never let it go. This must be another of Marie's poems. Huh? What is this? What is happening to me? Why is this here? I put it in my pocket. It doesn't make any sense. It's gotta be... Hey, don't read that. You inconsiderate scumbag. How would you read my heart's voice? No. It's not my heart's voice. Hush now, Marie. If you need to release your impulses, please do it somewhere else. Ooh. Ooh, Margaret, you over there getting fucking spicy. Shut up! This is just... Huh? Huh? Impulses? Release? You can't say- You can't say that like that, Marie, just not say anything. You give a guy ideas, okay? I will never let this go. Stop reading my stuff. He returns to her seat, quivering with with either rage or embarrassment. You can't tell which, but all you know is that it's pretty cute. Alright. That's what I came to the velvet room for. Alright. Now we gotta keep running around. Talk to the people. I gotta go talk to all the people. Hey, listen to this. Reset came and spoke to me. This is a once-in-a-lifetime thing. I asked her for her autograph and what type of guy she's into. Anyways, what do you want? I'm sure you can see how busy I am. My guy, you're a full-ass man and you're asking a 16-year-old. Like, you're like, hey girl, wanna, wanna get down? Like, back off. Didn't they capture the suspect and put a lid on the case? Are you done asking questions? Good, now go away. I'm very busy talking to Reset right now. I've been asking about Teddy, too, but I'm surprised how many people actually remember him. They're like, oh yeah, that guy in the bear suit from Junaz. But nobody's seen him, yesterday or today. He's loved by so many different people. Where the heck could he have gone? I thought she was going to say something about the guy she was talking to. This fox sure is dark and creepy, isn't it? Oh, you got a question for me? What about the murders? A little while ago, they said that the suspect had been caught. It was in the newspaper. It was the namatame son, right? I remember seeing him around from time to time. Oh, horrible. It really does frighten me so. 
I don't recall seeing any other any other strange people, so I'm not sure he's the culprit. Wait, my bad. I'm sure he's the culprit. Is it true that there were no other suspicious individuals? Perhaps you should ask someone else about this. The fog's clearing, even though this year is almost over. It'll be it'll be cold. Uh, it'll be so cold on New Year's that I, oh, wait what? It'll be so cold on New Year's that I'll never be happy. What do you want? About the murders. Can't remember something from that long ago. He doesn't show any signs of stopping. All right, goodbye. Yeah, this guy is like the one that confuses me every time. I got a question about the the murders and shit. Because usually you don't have to talk to people who have the fucking request markers on their head. But you gotta talk to that guy. Let's see. She's talking about the poisonous fog. Yeah, he talks about the poisonous fog. Oh no. Oh come on, don't make uh don't make me even more depressed. They said on the news that the suspect's been caught. So the whole thing's over now, right? What else is there? Let's see. Alright. Now we also gotta ask people, have you seen someone suspicious? It's a small town. If there was anyone suspicious, there would be rumors going all over. But at least I haven't heard any news of rumors like that, so I think there's no such person. Thanks for your help, man. Talk to the old man. There's anyone like this in this town. I even know you. You're the kid who's staying with Dojima's house. Alright, cool. Have I seen have I seen any other weird people aside from Mom and Tame? Hmm. No, I don't think so. Hmm. No, I don't think I've seen any suspicious people. Except for you who's interrupting my conversation with Reset. He says as he's like touching himself like a weirdo. Reset, you should just walk away from that guy, honestly. What is it? See anybody suspicious? A strange person? Nah, I don't think I've seen any. I mean, it's a pretty small town, what did you say? If I had, I'm pretty sure I remember. A suspicious person? No, I can't think of anyone. Not from this town, anyways. Alright. You gotta ask at the shopping district. You also gotta ask at the floodplains. Let me see. Are you one of the people I have to ask? No. Or not. I'm pretty sure I don't have to ask the old lady. I'm sorry. All I remember is that something happened. I know it was pretty shocking, but what I can say, a lot of time has passed. We have a lot of people come to our store, but I can't say anyone was particularly suspicious. Talk to me, old man. Now that you mention it, the town was all a buzz last spring. You remember that, don't you? Have I seen a strange person? I don't know. Out in the country, if there was anybody strange walking around, everybody would know about it right quick. Alright, I'm pretty sure we don't have to talk to no one down by the riverbed, but I'm gonna check anyways. Yeah, there's no one here. Alright. There's still people, and then you gotta talk to the people in Juno's. It's great that you're Juno's. Alright. No, I don't want to help you with your cabbages. Can I help you? About the murders. Oh, the incident last spring? I don't remember anything from that long ago. I'm gonna be studying for college interest exams next year, so I've got no rooms for useless information like that. Doesn't look like you'll find any more information on the incidents last spring. A suspicious person? Huh, now that you mention it. My friend was saying she saw someone. I think she's just wandering around the shopping district, so why don't you ask her? And then you head back to the shopping district. Talk to this girl one last time. Girl, why the fuck are you out here lying to me? Why are you always lying? Huh? Someone told you that I saw someone suspicious. Somebody suspicious. Hmm. Oh, that. You remember Saki Konishi, don't you? You know, the dead girl that didn't like Yosuke? And then Yosuke just starts crying. <laughs> you know, she passed away a while ago. 
She told me how the Namatami person came to her one day and started spouting all this craziness and this rabble of rabble. Something about the TV. I wonder what that was all about. His relation with uh, his relation to Saki. Hey, I don't know what you're implying, but he got it all wrong. Saki was a good girl. It's just that people misunderstood her. She must be referring to the time when Namatami tried to warn Saki. It seems the thing about Namatame making advances on Saki was a misunderstanding. It doesn't look like you'll find you'll find any more information on the suspicious person. You have gathered as much information as you could. You should report back to the group. Chinese Diner Aya. You meet up with your friends after you finish gathering information. Hey guys, guess what we found out? Everybody in this town is <sighs> fucking I'm useless. This stuff's a lot harder when you don't have a badge to flash. I walked around all day and didn't hear anything good. It was the same for me. There was absolutely no talk about the case whatsoever, let alone the true culprit. Ditto for me. Ditto's a Pokemon. Actually, in my case, I kept getting bombarded with questions and couldn't get them onto the main subject at all. Because you kept talking to that one guy. <sighs> The killer must be pretty good to have pulled this off without being seen by anyone in this small town. What should we do? Well, one steak bowl, please! She said, I don't know about you guys, but I'm fucking hungry. That's not what I meant, but then again, I guess we might as well take a break. I'll have a crab and egg fried rice. Jesus, food is the last thing I want to think about right now because I literally just ate and I'm still feeling it. It wasn't even that many. It wasn't even that much food. It was. It wasn't that much, man. <laughs> it was a nice size, but Jesus. I'll have roast pork ramen with extra noodles. I think it was the Brussels sprouts that fucked me up. That's probably why I'm feeling like that. Well, you know what? I cooked Brussels sprouts and I also mixed it with some broccoli, so that combination is probably deadly. <laughs> in terms of making you full and just make you want to fucking die. It tastes great, though. <sighs> Now that our tummies are full, let's share what we learned, even if it wasn't much. You spoke with everyone about the information you gathered today. So, to sum up... Sum up, everybody in this town sucks. There really was no new information. The end? The police had an unusually large number of officers in their initial investigation of the first two incidents. To find facts that even they overlooked would be difficult indeed, now that over half a year has passed. Now, Toe, don't you have a copy of some files, like, at your place or some shit? There wasn't a single report of suspicious persons being witnessed to begin with. Miss Yamano had ardent fans, whereas Saki-san didn't. But otherwise, the conditions are the same. You know, every time I tried to ask about the case, everyone ignored me and kept ranting about the damn fog. Yeah, that or the Midnight Channel. I asked around about Teddy, too, but no one's seen him. Gee, I wonder where he could have gone. Do you have anything, Naoto? Any new, uh, deductions? <sighs> Without any new data to work with, there isn't much I can do. But there must be someone in town who meets all the criteria for this case. The killer must have a connection to both Saki-san and Miss Yamano as well as be in a position to observe our actions periodically to some extent. Finally, it must be someone who could approach Senpai's house without arousing suspicion. <sighs> if only someone like that existed. I need some fresh air before I give it more thought. I'll be outside. Natsu says, I'm out of here, guys. It's starting to smell. <laughs> Y'all motherfuckers gotta take some showers. Y'all smell like a bunch of Smash players in here. <laughs> I'm out of here. <laughs> oh man, you decide to go outside to get some fresh air. Well, that was right. Y'all people out here playing Smash Bros? It smells in here. It's snowing. No wonder it's chilly. I'll warm you up, girl. Damn it, Yosuke. <sighs> It's freezing out here. Captain Cockblock. Maybe this will help clear my head and get my deductive muscles flexing. What you need to get flexing is... I don't even know. I, I don't know where I was going with that joke, honestly. I, I was just speaking to speak. And it went nowhere. 
Hey, is it snowing? Too bad the fog's so thick. The snow just gets lost in it. It must be something that's been overlooked. It's urgent that you get over the... Wait, what? <laughs> having a hard time reading. This is why I don't eat before streaming. It fucks me up. It's urgent that you get over the roadblocks facing you. The clues you need must already be in your hands. What's the matter? What's the matter with you? You should go over everything you know one more time. The culprit had some sort of connection with both Mayumi Yamano and Saki Konishi. And judging by the warning letters, the culprit most likely knew about the other side and what you did there. It's highly likely that they also knew what Namatame was doing and stood back to watch. Who the hell would do all those things? Another oddity about the case is that they were there was almost no witnesses. Both warning letters seems to have been delivered directly to your house, but no one saw anybody suspicious. No one unusual was seen around Mayumi Yamano or Saki either. Despite the police dispatching an unusually high number of officers to perform a thorough investigation, there must be someone in this small town who fits all the facts. The person who seems to be the most likely culprit is... Hmm. And this is... This is... I don't want to call it the infamous... But I also don't want to call it the famous. This is the moment that a lot of people remember, right? Moment where a game goes, all right, here's the facts you know. Here's all you got. Who the fuck is it? Here's a list of names. Pick them out, right? So I've never got this wrong. I don't think I've ever met anyone who got this wrong. And if you did manage to get it wrong, I believe that they give you three tries and they also give you reasons as to why that can't be the characters, right? Um, but yeah, everyone that you've ever met within your social link or, uh, or just like as a, either as a main or either like supporting character in the story, they're all here, right? It was Nanako, dude, it was so Nanako. Listen, I'm still thinking that it was it was Pearl. She's the source of all evil. She'll never let me she'll never let me live it down. Pearl Patine. Just hanging out there. Alright, so you sit down, right? The game goes. Here's the list. Figure it out. And it's a lot of fucking people, right? You got a lot of names sitting there, and you're like, oh, God. <laughs> Who's the most likely culprit? You got Yosuke, Chie, Yukiko, Teddy. Teddy's gone. That's looking suspicious, buddy. You just up and vanished. Feeling a little guilty? Kanji? He's kind of violent. Rize? Nah. Naoto? I don't know. Naoto's been working on the inside. Dojima? Could be a sick bastard. Nanako? Oh man. Oh man. <laughs> That'd be a trip though. Nanako is the killer. Adachi. Adachi's your homeboy, dog. He ain't do nothing but good and he has no backbone. Namatame. We know it's not Namatame. We just talked to the guy. Mayumi. She's dead. <laughs> Saki. She's dead. Moroka. He's an asshole. He's dead. Mitsubo. We know he's useless. Mizuzu Haragi. She ain't even in town, boy. She's gone. <laughs> She's nowhere. Kashiwagi, maybe. Hanako, that'd be fucking terrifying. Imagine having that kidnap you at night and <laughs> pick you up and toss you in the TV. <laughs> oh, God, that'd be so scary. Ayabihara, I don't know. She's very rich, has a lot of money. She can get away with a lot of shit. Ko and Daisuke, maybe there's two killers. They're, they seem to be physically fit. Between the both of them, they can pick people up and just toss them in. You know, double trouble. Right? Got Naoki. I don't know. Might have been jealous of his own sister. Yumi. What am I going to choose? Oh, you know what we're going to choose. <laughs> I'm just I'm just amping it up a bit, you know? You got, you got Yumi. She, she's in the drama club. She can be good at acting. She'd be playing us the whole time. Ayane, I'm surprised that they even give Ayane. <laughs> a 
<laughs> that Ayana is even on the list because we haven't talked to her once. And I think we might have seen her once in the playthrough, just when we peeked in the band room. But other than that, she does not exist. <laughs> so someone who's never chosen to be like, Ayane, who the fuck is that? Shu? I don't know, man. He's giving me school shooter type vibes. Looking at that kid, he got that fucking distant stare going on. Asano walking around talking about she's death. Come on. Eri? I don't know. Maybe she just likes hurting people. She don't like her own child a lot of people but when you think about it when you put it all together it should have hit you on the head um should have hit you on the head a while back but then you might have second guessed yourself remember the first time i played it i second guessed myself right but then i said fuck it because like can it be that obvious did the butler do it there's only one person that fits the bill though toru Adachi. Of course, if you look at, if you look only at the circumstances, you can't completely rule out that possibility. Adachi may have been able to keep an eye on your actions. He would have been able to approach your house with ease, and he knows the area pretty well. Thinking about it, you encounter him many times while investigating the case. You learn much about the police movements from Adachi as well. There's no exact reason to doubt him, but... Something's bothering you, man. However... Damn, dog. Did you tell your friends about your suspicions about Adachi being the culprit? Adachi's like family. And you protect family. At all cost. From your relationships thus far with Adachi, you don't want to think of him as the culprit. But there is more than enough possibility. And you can't say for sure that he isn't. Are you sure you don't want to tell your friends? I'll protect him. You cannot think of anyone else but Adachi who could have been the culprit. But you don't want to hand him over as the culprit. You decide to keep it within your heart without telling your friends. It looks like our only option is to stay patient and continue our investigation. But regardless, the fact remains that Namatame has committed his crimes and he has already been arrested. So no matter what we do, Welcome the case back, might Kibito. be over now? Nice to see you. Though the truth will be Griffith did nothing wrong. <laughs> well, for us, it's more like it's lost in the fog. Shortly after, you found a letter that Teddy left behind. I'm going back to my own world. It's not easy to live there now, but it's my reality. I'm really, really thankful for everything all of you did for me. Well, goodbye. Everyone avoided talking about the case and waited for the severe winter to end. And so, time passed. I don't hate Teddy like that. <laughs> Poor Ted. Tomorrow's the day you go home. Was it really the right thing to not tell your friends about Adachi? This is probably the last day you can see a dodgy. Let's go. You decided to see a dodgy. Inaba Police Station. Interrogation room. <clears throat> so. 
Sorry, were you waiting long? Man, things have been so busy. I've been putting in a crazy amount of overtime. Well, anyway, what's with the sudden visit? Can I help you with something? Adachi. Did you do it? Do what? Me? Kill my Yumi Yamano in Saki Konishi? <laughs> What's this about? Are you serious? Oh, come on. Even if you're kidding, this is a pretty bad joke. Did you forget? You're the ones who brought Namatame in. Oh, I get it. You're still playing detective. Okay. Say I am the culprit. What did you come here to do? Convince me to turn myself in? No. So, what? Are you trying to blackmail me? No. Well, listen up. Unlike you, we police aren't made of time. We still haven't even cleaned up Namatame's mess. Besides, you don't have any proof that I did it. Well, are you going to keep playing detective? I'm on your side, Adachi. You're on my side? Are you trying to be the hero or something? No, wait. You're saying you're on the killer's side. In front of a police officer. Do you understand what that means? Yes. I see. Wait here a sec. Do you remember this? It's the threatening letter that got sent to your house. I accidentally forgot to forward it over to forensics. I'm sure it was just a prank, but maybe it was connected to the murders. Who knows? This might be the piece of evidence that could turn this whole case upside down. The real killer wouldn't want the police to have this. But you're with me, right? So if I'm the real killer, and you're with me, then that makes you my partner in crime. Isn't that right? It's a lighter. If I send this to forensics, they might pull some evidence off it. Maybe a clue to capturing the real killer. You, your friends, and Dojima-san have all been busting your asses for a whole year to solve this case. It's a damn shame that no one's caught the real killer yet. Well? Itachi is staring at you. If you burn the letter, you'll destroy the only piece of proof that exists. It would be betrayal of everything that happened over the last year. Will you burn the letter? Ashes to ashes. Dust to dust. A burning smell permeates the room. <laughs> that note is on fire! You actually did it! Do you understand what you just did? You destroyed evidence. That's a crime, you know? <laughs> now, this little incident is covered up forever. All because of you. on those who've committed crimes. You can hear his happy voice from your cell phone. If you get calls from this number, you better pick up. There's no use changing your number. 
Don't underestimate the Japanese police. It's easy to track you down. You obtain Adachi's number. Adachi is laughing. Your decision was monstrous. But there can be no turning back now. You feel a strong bond between you and Adachi. I art thou, and thou art I. Thou hast established a genuine bond. These genuine bonds shall be your eyes to see the truth. We bestow upon thee the ability to create Mikatsu Itsunagi. The Toro Dachi Social Link has reached its maximum level. You have mastered the Toro Dachi Social Link. Your power to create personas of the Jester, Arcana, has reached its maximum. You Narukami has forged a bond that cannot be broken. By mastering the Jester Social Link, you can now fuse Magatsu Itsunagi, the Temper of the Void. You want to find the truth without being swayed by the voices of society. But the truth is a sinister thing. It seems like something absolute. Yet it exists in everyone's hearts. For you, <laughs> this was the truth. <laughs> well, I'm going back. So be careful on your way home. The fog is getting thicker and thicker after all. Goodbye, partner. There's no turning back now. The fog outside is thick. You have to go home early. Yeah, Dachi technically didn't do anything. But it is death through neglect, I guess. Now, a follow-up report on the serial kidnapping and murder case that shook Inaba last year. Defendant Taro Nawatami has confessed to committing the multiple kidnappings that previously seemed irrelevant. However, he continues to flatly deny his involvement in the first two murders. With so much unknown regarding his motives and methods, many are hoping his trial will shed some light on these mysteries. Up next is our fog forecast for today. Fog is still covering the town, but it should soften somewhat this week with the coming of spring. Today and tomorrow, we'll see fairly light amounts of fog as usual. Saturation from then on is still to be determined. If you have travel plans, please be mindful of visibility conditions. It's almost time for your train. You ready to go? Too bad Nanako couldn't leave the hospital in time to say goodbye. A little more time and maybe she could have come outside. Feel free to come visit any time, okay? And say hi to your parents for me. There's no doubt he's the one who put Nanako through all this. But the more I interrogate him, the more I start to question myself. Did Namatame really murder two people? I don't know. I see. Sorry to ask out of the blue, I just wanted to hear your opinion. In any case, there haven't been any more bizarre incidents lately. Here's hoping Inaba goes back to its usual quiet self and stays that way. Well, we should get going. Your friends are probably waiting at the station. Come on. Too quick. It's going to get boring without you around, Senpai. You will visit, won't you? <laughs> we'll come immediately if anything happens on your end. 
Be sure to take good care of yourself. Take care. Keep in touch, okay? I'll reserve a room for you at the Amagi Inn the next time you come. Well, I'll see ya. You really helped us out with lots of stuff. Thanks, partner. Roland wishes for the fall to lift. Why act against the wishes of your fellow man? Consider, is that truly just? And we're back to where we left off. I wish there was a nicer way to transition through that, you know, but OBS doesn't let me. And that's what could happen if you don't tell your friends about Adachi, but we're not like that. We're cool. We're cool people. We do cool things, right? Let me just click off of that real quick. All right. Let's see. <laughs> it was all pre-recorded. So no further incidents. Maybe Adachi really has changed. He didn't do anything else once Namatame picked things up. Maybe Namatame made Adachi realize the connection and that's why he stopped. Better transition than sitting through the sad credits. Exactly, right? <laughs> yeah, I, I think... um, Shit. Adachi is Adachi's a weird case. Well, we'll talk about it later. We'll talk about it later when we when we get down to nitty and gritty of things. But right now, we gotta be a fucking snee I itch. Tell my friends. You spoke Adachi's name, and then you hear from across the fucking town, Hey! <laughs> get your name out my mouth. Get your name out my mouth, Jesus. Get your get my name out your mouth. And then you hear Will Smith go like, yeah. <laughs> Keep my wife's name out your fucking mouth. Huh? What about him? Detective Adachi. Hmm. A member of the police force. That is an interesting approach. It is, isn't it, Nato? So, I remember the first time I played it, I sat here and I looked at it. I was like, please don't tell me it's Adachi. It can't be Adachi. Fucking. Because... Because I remember sitting here going like, if it's a dachi, that might be one of the most boring things ever. Right? Because it's like, oh, the butler did it. The police officer did it. Oh, no. Right? But I think they save it. I think they do a good job. It would certainly explain the lack of witness reports. It's the same reason no one ever reported seeing Namatame's truck. This is a small town, so everyone must have known who he is. And since he's a detective, people definitely wouldn't have thought of him as being suspicious. In fact, he could use his position to his advantage and hide critical information. Huh. Well, if you think of it that way, I guess it's possible. But we're talking about Adachi here, right? I mean, really? Adachi? He's your textbook lousy detective. I will say that they did a great job of, uh, of putting in some um, doubt in the beginning of the game. Because, you know, it's like, a dead body's been discovered, right? And then you hear, you hear Monokuma over the school announcement. A body's been discovered! Right? And then you all walk down, and then you see Dojima going like, Adachi, pull your- fucking get your shit together. What are you throwing up for? He's like, sorry, dead bodies are gross. Didn't expect Adachi at all, because had 
you had something else spoiled for you in the game. And it was ex uh, you were expecting that other thing. It was not suspicious of Adachi. Oh, really? Okay. I did just think he was a textbook lousy detective, though. <laughs> I mean, that and I just remember it being it's super fucking weird that, like, every time Adachi's like, Hey, yo, you guys, you guys, you guys talking about murder? I want to talk about murder. <laughs> right? And then I think... Shit, I'm already getting into it. I don't want to get into it right now. I don't want to get into it right now. We'll do it when we get to the dungeon. Are we really on the right track here? Actually, regarding Detective Adachi, I'm not sure how to put it, but there's something that's been bothering me about him for some time now. Yeah, it's been bothering me too now, too. It's weird. Like, you told me before now, too, you would go into the police HQ and then you would walk past his little cuticle and then there he was, just like jacking off, going, I am a murderer, I'm a murderer, I'm a murderer. Right? And you're like, Adachi, what are you doing? He's like, huh? Nothing. Yeah? Hmm. Huh. Perhaps it's just my imagination, so I shouldn't speak to. Oh, you sneeze like a kitten. <sighs> it's cold. I think we've cooled down enough here. Let's go back in. Naoto sneezes like a kitten. Now you gotta pet Naoto. Adachi-san? That can't be. I mean, he said he came to escort Miss Yamano and... What? Was he at your inn when the announcer was staying there? What the fuck, Yukiko? You didn't say anything before. When Miss Yamano was staying at our inn, the media were swarming all over it. That's when Adachi-san arrived, saying he'd been assigned to guard her. He told our waitress that fame could be rough. Guard her? He didn't spend the night there? Huh. The scene doesn't make much sense. How does the list of victims not released to the public mean anything? When the police of all people have that list too. Uh, I'm sorry, I kind of wasn't paying attention fully. What, what the hell are we? What, what the hell are you talking about? List of victims. Saying he's been aside guard. Blah, blah blah. Did they say something? I mean, like, I said that. I, I think. I think I might know what you're talking about. When? Yeah, cause um, last stream. At the car crash, when Adachi was like, "Oh man, fucking, we got him. We got him arrested for two accounts of murder and five accounts of kidnappings." And I'm like, five accounts of kidnappings? How the fuck you know about that?" But then I was like, "Oh wait a minute." I was like, "Oh wait a minute," because they found because Naoto handed him the fucking diary. I wonder if he knew Ms. Yamano. Yeah, I was confused at the moment too. I was like, "Wait a minute." <laughs> I was like, "Wait, that doesn't make any sense from a story point." And then, and then Natsu's like, it says it all here in the diary. I'm like, oh yeah, yeah, of course. I don't know about that, but I heard he did call out to a girl in my class. I found out this afternoon, but I thought, you know, that's just how cops are. So I didn't think it had anything to do with the case. Detective Adachi also questioned Saki-san, the one who found the announcer's body, on numerous occasions. I heard it was because there was so little information about the case at the time, it's certainly unusual to question someone with as strong an alibi as hers multiple times. That too, the police didn't know about the kidnappings too though. Dojima talked to you and Yukiko. Kanji missing, right? I mean, cause that's the thing that kind of gets me. Cause later on there's gonna be a moment where maybe they explain it better and I just don't remember it clearly. But later on, there's going to be a moment where Naoto says something, and I'm like, wait a minute, what do you mean, Naoto? How does that make sense? Because you literally, at the car crash where Adachi was present, went, Hey guys, I got a list of all this shit, all this evidence. So the fact that Adachi would know that, it's like, eh, it would make sense in the time at the time. So I, I was kind of confused. Because in Adachi, uh, not Adachi's, in Namatame's book, Fucking, it would say like, I went and I kidnapped Kanji, I kidnapped Yukiko, I kidnapped Risa, I kidnapped fucking Naoto. Then you think he had something else on his mind? And that something is what connects those two victims to Adachi-san? Yeah, exactly. I, I thought Adachi would know about that. He was present at the I don't know, maybe Naoto explains it better and I just didn't, like, 
It's just, it's a part, every time I play this game, I just don't get what Naoto is fucking saying. I'm gonna try and actually pay attention this time, though, because, I mean, after your first playthrough, you kind of just roll your eyes and go, yeah, 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 I thought you did it. Come to think of it, we've been running into that guy a lot, in all sorts of places. And every time he'd tell us what the police were doing before saying, oops, I said too much and clamming up. Was that all to throw us off the trail? It would be no problem for him to drop that warning letter into your mailbox, either. Not to mention the fact that he can destroy any evidence that might point to him. Various peculiarities have been- Oh god, that was a weird way to say that. Peculiarities have begun to cast a suspicious shadow on Adachi. Then... Is it really Adachi-san? It's him, alright. This is still only a tentative theory. We should work to confirm it as soon as possible. Unless she says something specific like, this is I'm Naoto on the list Shiragani. and the police had no report about it. Yeah, but... Mm. But everyone knew Naoto was missing, right? Especially when your characters are running around going fucking... Going, hey man, Naoto hasn't showed up to school! Uh... Oh man, I really don't know. Gee, Rick, have you seen Nalto? Something has occurred to me about the case, and I'd like to get Detective Adachi's input on it. Huh? The transport? It's right now? Right, I, I see. Thank you. What was that about a transport? Detective Adachi is headed to the hospital to prepare for Namatame's relocation. We must head there at once. Things are moving quickly now. You feel that you're getting closer to the truth. Like, I'll completely admit that on my part, it was just stupid of me to be like, I don't remember how they how they explained Mitsuo being there. I just completely forgot that, that Adachi just went like, Yeah, I just threw his ass in the fucking TV. <laughs> that fucking moron walked up to me and said, oh, I killed a guy. <laughs> and I said, Oh yeah, I killed this bitch. Uh... Huh? What are you guys doing here? Hey, do you know where Dojima-san went? They told me he snuck out of his room again. I assure you, we've made it clear to him several times that he needs to stay put, but he keeps going off on his own. Jeez, with Namatami finally relocated, I was looking forward to going home. So, he's been relocated. I've been wondering... You seem to be in a terrible hurry to get him out of this hospital. Huh? Oh, well, yeah. I mean, we can't leave him here with Dojima-san and Nanako-chan around. Didn't you guys think so, too? Hey, what are you doing here, anyway? Nanako-chan's room is in the other wing. Now, now that I can fully talk shit about Adachi, I gotta say something. I remember the first time I played this game and I saw Adachi, I was like, Adachi, my man, why you got, like, a lockjaw like your fucking Drake of the 99 Dragons? Like, for real, it's bothering me. Jesus. Don't you think you should leave before Dojima-san finds you? Like, his jawline is cricket. Start pestering you again. It's bothering me. Adachi. Where it's been a oh, while shit, my bad, Dojima. I'm sorry, I didn't some reason. Dojima-san, what are you doing here? Namatami's already been relocated. I was looking for you so I could tell you that. You did what? Who authorized that? There's still more I need to ask him about. G give me a break, Dojima-san. Those first two murders have been bothering me. Yeah, those first two murders have been bothering me. I feel very confuzzled about it. His motives are shaky and his alibi is rock solid. We closed a lot of loopholes on the basis of his testimony. But that part's still nagging at me. Is this more of your detective's intuition? No, Dachi, it's more like my dead wife's ghost. She's kind of nagging at me, like kind of how every night I just hear her go like, Dojima, how come you haven't solved my murder case yet? It's a hit and run. How hard is it to find some guy's license? I don't know why I sound like a smoker lady, but you found it super hot when I was alive, Dojima. He's already been relocated. It's no use hassling me about it. And you kids should really get home too. You're gonna get in the way of police business. 
What's gotten into you today? It's odd to see you taking work so seriously. <laughs> I love how Dojima just goes like, Oh, big whoop de doo someone decided to man up today. <laughs> Come on. I'm always giving 110% when it comes to the job. He's like, you yelling, Adachi? Someone got a backbone? You been drinking? You should get back to work too, Dojima-san. Your current assignment? Get better as soon as possible. Mm. What are you all doing here? We came to confirm something with Adachi-san. Adachi-ni, please. Adachi-ni-san, you're my brother. Uh, fucking, what happened to Yamano, man? The time the announcer went missing? I can't say for sure offhand. It's not like I saw her or anything. Why are you lying? That was months and months ago, too. My memory's kind of hazy that far back. How you not know where she's at if you was guarding her? What about Saki? Why wouldn't I question her? She discovered the announcer's body. Yeah? But she didn't know much about it, so I only talked with her once or twice. Was that all you wanted to ask? Still something you need to question him about. Why the fuck you send me these letters, man? Now that I look- Warning letter? Now that I look closely at it, there's like a little fucking- A little fine line here. It says, by the way, sent by Adachi. <laughs> the one that was delivered to his house. It's in police custody now, correct? Uh, I don't really remember. Hey, what do you mean you don't remember? I gave it to you to take down to the crime lab for processing. You're telling me you forgot? <laughs> I'm sorry. You know, it sounds very, like, foolhardy to be like, fucking, oh, he forgot the evidence. But when you look back at some police cases, like, in real life, it's like, and then somehow during the transport, the evidence just fucking disappeared. And it happens way more times than it really should. So, <laughs> so that doesn't surprise me. Honestly, a cut, like a detective just going like, man, we lost the evidence. What do you mean you lost it? I, I honestly don't know. Your accident was right after that. And what with one thing and another, it sort of slipped my mind. Uh, besides, that thing was just a prank, wasn't it? Jeez, what are you asking me all this for? For crying out loud, what's this all supposed to be about? Dojima-san, you really need to get back to your bed. That's why your wounds aren't healing. And you all need to go home right now. Do you have any idea what time it is? I'm going back. I need to get to the station and report in. Just one more thing. We know for certain now that the first two murders weren't Namatame's doing. Someone else killed them. Adachi-san, do you have any idea who that might be? I have no idea what you're talking about. Cause we think it might have been you. What? That's ridiculous. We already know Namatami's the one who put them all in. What? What did you just say? Put them all in. What's this putting them in business? Do you know something about the method behind their murders? Don't tell me that all that talk about TVs and whatnot from before was... I see. Now I finally understand. To tell the truth, Adachi-san, I've been fixated on something you once said. I've been fixated on what you're about to say, Naoto. Before, I didn't know why. Only that it sounded a wrong note to me. Okay. Do you recall when I read Namatame's diary? At the scene of Dojima-san's accident. Yes. Where you said all that evidence out loud? At the time, I said, even the victims who survived and were never released to the public are written here. Yes. And in response, your words were, wow, then that settles it. I don't, I don't, I don't get where you're going here. I, I still don't get that train of thought. How, I wonder, would that settle anything? I... Part two, they should know about putting them in is yeah, because I literally sat in the not not even the car crash scene. I literally sat in the fucking interrogation room with Dojima and Adachi and I was like, guys, I got a fucking thing called a persona. Just let me stick my hand through the TV. <laughs> I don't get it. Yeah, 
the release to the public part, it doesn't, like, it means, like, I get it, like, because I get what Naoto is trying to say, right? Because it's like, when she says those who aren't released to the public, not only that is that the police didn't know that they were kidnapped. So far, the police only knew that they were just missing, right? They were reported missing, but then our excuses was, oh, we found them in the alleyway. We found them on the roof of Junez or some bullshit, right? But at the same time, you know, the police knew these people were missing. They came back. Naoto picks up the diary and goes, oh, damn, everyone who was missing is on here, too. That wasn't information released to the public. And then Adachi B's like, Adachi's just like, oh, okay, well, then, yeah, he's behind the missing people. Those even knew about the TV, too, and just says, don't tell me that TV stuff. True. Exactly. It's like, like, I just... Like, I get what they're trying to go with this, but at the same time, it just doesn't, like, that part right there doesn't, doesn't make sense to me. It's like, I wonder what it would settle. It would settle the case now, too. It would settle the case because the evidence says I kidnapped people. At the time, the police had no idea that there had been other attempted murders related to the case. Until you said it out loud, now, too. You had no reason to say such a thing. Until you said it out loud. After all, there are countless examples of people disappearing for a few days. Yes. Yet when I read the list of names, you raised no objection. Odd, that. What do you say to that, Detective Adachi? Is it, like, is she just going in on the fact that he wasn't like, what? Those people were kidnapped? Like, is that what she's going on? Because, I mean, the fact, like, common sense would dictate that, yeah, we know he kidnapped Nanako, Right? So when you're like, yo, here's the list of all the missing people, he's like, oh shit, kidnapped them too? When I read the list of names, she didn't, but she did read it out loud. It would be like, it would make sense if Adachi went like, oh yeah, those are the people or whatever. Because she didn't say like, I don't think she said specific names or something like that. Did she? But I like I looked at it and she did read it out loud. She literally out loud just went like, oh, here's the list of people. She doesn't say the name specifically, I think, but neither does Adachi. I don't know. It was not the teams or Nanako. Yeah, but at the time, we're all chasing him down because we know it's Nanako. They came in and they're like, he has Nanako. They said it out loud. Dojima called the fucking police and said, my daughter's been kidnapped. And they're like, has she been missing for 48 hours? And he's like, what? Or 72 hours or whatever the fuck? I said I'm busy. I don't know. That just, that one part with Naoto Wait, just doesn't make sense bitch. with me. Adachi. Ah, oh, damn it. Adachi! Now in Tommy's hospital room, Adachi isn't here either. What the? I swear he ran this way. Damn it! Where the hell did he go? Did you find him? I contacted security. Nobody's seen Adachi, and there's no record of anyone leaving this area. You know what really bothers me after this is that even after all of this, Dojima still doesn't fully understand the TV thing because no one ever shows it to him. Uh, it could have done that part better, but you think how they made how they made now to seem like a good investigator. She does that in Persona Q as well. I don't think Naoto is a good investigator in Persona Q. She's fucking annoying <laughs> in Persona Q. Like if like if I drunk if I had a drink every time she said the word deductions, I'd be fucking dead by like the first hour. So he must be still in this ward somewhere. He's still here? But we looked! We didn't find him anywhere. That bastard. <clears throat> Deductions or culprit. Dojima -san? Exactly. For heaven's sake, what are we going to do with you? Sorry. 
I still don't. I still don't know like who thought from a story point it would be a good idea to be like, hey, remember these characters you like? Yeah. Why don't we just take them all back to when they were like had no character growth whatsoever and just hung out with them? It's like what? In Arena, they did say that Dojima reports uh, talk about TV stuff, so you might end up knowing at the end. I mean, yeah, like they. It's weird because. Dojima's like, I hear what you're saying to me. I wrote it down in a report. Like, even in Arena, they're like, Adachi's being interrogated. They're like, so go over, go over this again with me. Something about a TV, right? Meanwhile, they can literally just, and they have a TV in the room, but they won't let Adachi stick his hand through it or some shit. I don't know. But like, like, uh, I'm trying to think. Persona dancing all night takes place after Persona 4 Arena. And in that, Adachi doesn't even fucking understands the TV world. And it's like, it's like, come on, man. Come on, man. Like, the most Adachi does is he goes like, I understand that you're doing something, just be safe about it, right? You know? But at no point is Adachi ever like, oh, they went to the fucking TV world. Adachi's just like, oh, they're doing something important that only they can do, I guess. Do you even want to get better? If you keep this up, there could be lasting damages. I mean, in Arena, the uh, the devs for it, they wanted to make Nanako and Dojima playable characters, but the Persona team said no. <laughs> Atlas went, nope, not doing that. All right? Have you forgotten how much trouble it caused you last time? So they were supposed to get Personas, but in the end they didn't. You're right. Sorry. You've got to find Adachi. I need to square this away with him. And if Please. we're and if we're talking about the continuity of Persona, Adachi's like what in his thirties, thirty four maybe. I think he's he seems like he's thirty four maybe. I'm not sure. He might be in his twenties, but it doesn't fucking matter. If we're going through the supposed rules of fucking Persona in Trinity Soul, that shitty anime. Fucking Akihiko shows up and he goes like, yeah, when people get older, they don't fucking have personas no more. Meanwhile, I'm sitting here going like, then what about Tetsuya's brother or Baofu or fucking Nate in Persona 2 or goddamn, uh, you know, the new guy in P5 uh, Strikers <laughs> or Adachi for fuck's sake. Or all the fucking P3 characters in Arena. He hasn't left this ward yet? I don't think he would, but could he have- Like if fucking Little League coach Junpei can still have his persona, what the fuck are you talking about, <laughs> Akihiko? You make no sense, man. Yeah, I think so. If he's the killer, he can go through, right? You mean he went in through here? We searched every inch in the direction he ran off. There's nowhere to hide. I don't think we could have missed him. He was cornered. It's highly probable that he escaped there. If he does indeed turn up on the other side, that should prove beyond a doubt that he is the true culprit. Damn. So I guess we were right. What do we do now? We'll go in tomorrow. I think it's too dangerous to go in from here. We're not 100% positive he used this TV, and on top of that, we don't know where it might lead. Let's go in from Jeunesse, like always. It'll be fine. So long as we're ready for him, we'll crush that jerk in one strike. Sorry, I was looking at my phone. The extremely suspicious detective Adachi. You take another step closer to the truth. Adachi's the culprit. I can now say it. I feel so good. You split up for the day, and you all went back home. Adachi's the culprit. Yeah! <laughs> I'll be honest, I don't know why. I honestly really don't know why we find Adachi so cool. We just do. This. It seems that you come to the Velvet Room in your dreams again. But something's different. This time you don't see Igor, Margaret, or Marie. 
Teddy sitting there, not noticing your presence. Where am I? He also doesn't have any presence with him. Where's my presence? You're in my dream. Sensei? One million dollars. I can ask you the same, Teddy. I see. How mysterious. Like, literally, Teddy, you're living in my head rent-free right now. What are you doing here? There are so many things I don't know about. But I did realize something. I've been thinking all this time about who I really am. Oh, yeah, and here's the other thing that I fucking kind of don't like, too. But I couldn't find the answer. I was no one from the start. Humans live in the other world, and shadows live in this world. From the beginning, that's all there was to it. I was just a shadow in that world. Just a shadow? I figured something out. Yeah? That day at the hospital, I realized that I really can't do anything. Oh, Teddy, trust me, I knew that from the beginning. As soon as I thought that, I lost consciousness. Then when I woke up, I was inside the fog. Shadows can't stay in the human world. They aren't allowed. I walked and walked, but there was nothing all around me. Just when I started thinking that I couldn't go anywhere, I heard the noise of a car. And then I was here. I remember lots of things now. My world is a place shaped by human thoughts. One day, a shadow living in that world awakened to human emotions. But humans and shadows are completely different entities. So he made himself forget that he was a shadow. He wanted to forget. He wanted people to like him. And that's how he came to look like this. <laughs> I really am stupid. What the other Teddy said before, in the end, it was all true. No matter how much I search for myself, I have no self. There was no me to begin with. I'm just a shadow that took a different form so humans would like me. They did have a TV in the arena room. Yeah, they did. <laughs> it would have been better if I had never remembered. I'll probably turn back to a regular shadow soon. Oh, yeah. One day, when you meet Nana-chan in heaven, apologize for me. Tell her, I'm sorry I couldn't do anything. Tell her, I'm really sorry. Hey, man. Nanako's alive, dude. Huh? Really? She's still pretty weak, though. You told Teddy about how Nanako... I'm sorry, I got to distract from my... You told Teddy about how Nanako came through. Nana Johns. Wow. That's wonderful. I'm so glad. Glad that I could at least hear that. <laughs> My heart feels so much lighter now. I'm starting to feel sleepy. What a strange place. It, it's not like my world. My bad, today. I didn't mean to skip Something you. Something just feels so nostalgic about this place. Could this be your dream world, Sensei? Eh, something like that. Uh-huh. But... I wonder why I met you here. What am I supposed to do now? Well, you can't stay here. Listen. Yeah. You Thanks. can leave, go anywhere, but you can't stay here. No matter how hard I think, there's too many things my little brain can't understand. But I do understand one thing now. I'm glad that I met you, Sensei. You can sense Teddy's pure and deep gratitude.
Hey, Teddy got his ultimate persona, or or Persona Prime, or some bullshit. I don't fucking know. Thou art I, thou art as something, something. And genuine bonds. Genuine bonds are cool. We bestow upon the ability to create. Hello, la 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 la. Teddy Social Link has reached maximum level. You have mastered Teddy Social Link. Your power to create stone, uh, personas of the Star Arcana has reached its maximum. You know, Arcana has foes of fun that cannot be broken. By mastering the Star Social Link, you can now fuse Hellel, 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 Galil, the Lightbringer. Teddy's growth of heart has affected his persona as well. Alright, in my notes, what do I have here? My notes said I deleted Marukanda. <laughs> Marukaja, so goodbye, bitch. But I have to get going. This is your place. It doesn't seem like somewhere that I'd be allowed to stay. Especially if you're not paying rent. Get the fuck out. Goodbye, Sensei. Before you know it, Teddy's gone, and Igor, Margaret, Marie was sitting there once again. You were all just sitting there? You all just sat there and watched? Hmm. It seems the words in your memory weren't the only things you summoned here. This is a room for guests who have an ego that can be nurtured. Shadows, mere fragments broken off from the ego, have no place here. The water's strength has moved a single stone that had stopped returning it once again into the flow. Mmm, very interesting. Igor has a meaningful smile on his face. Either that or he's thinking about ways he's gonna diddle me in my sleep. Well now, it's about time we departed once I mean, again. a guy with bloodshot eyes, a long-ass nose, creepy smile, and a fucking E.T. finger. I'm pretty sure I don't want this guy anywhere near me at night. This vehicle is still on its journey. There is no reason to tarry here for long. Margaret? We're ready to go. Let us depart. <laughs> ah, you are every inch the guest I had anticipated. Now, it's time for you to return. <laughs> I am even more intrigued now as to where this is all headed. We'll be waiting for your next visit. Okay, cool. So, when it comes to Teddy, I don't like how they explain it. Because they really don't explain shit. He goes, okay, bam. Well, first of all, when they question it, Naoto goes, I read some research that a persona is obtained when one faces their shadow and obtains an ego or some whatever bullshit, right? But that still doesn't explain what the fuck Teddy is, because Teddy's not a persona. He has his own persona. He's a shadow. Somehow he obtained an ego. Does that make him human? I don't know. Because if he was fully human, then he shouldn't have the ability to be fucking changing... Changing, like, his body mass all the time. It's pretty weird how that works. I don't know. But Teddy just goes, Man, I was a shadow. I wanted people to like me. And then one day, poof, pam, bada, boof. I wasn't a shadow no more. And that's pretty much it. And it's like, you really didn't explain shit. So you, you tell me that any shadow can just go like, I don't want to be a shadow no more. Right? Yeah, you think Teddy's people's emotion into a shadow? But he's not, though. <laughs> That's the thing. He's not. <laughs> it's all about the lust stuff that he's always talking about. No, I think I think Teddy's just super horny, horny, especially because he's immature as fuck. But um, he's literally pervy thoughts personified, maybe. But yeah, I remember the first time I played this game, and I was waiting for them to tell me what the fuck Teddy was. And in my mind, it's like maybe I was thinking that maybe you know how. Each of your characters, they face their shadows, right? They all have their own shadows, and they face their shadows, and they get their personas for it. So in my mind, I was like, each person must have a respective shadow that exists in the shadow world. And because Teddy gets so fucking... Hangs out with Nanako all the fucking time, they get along so goddamn well. I was like... And Nanako herself is so innocent that she really doesn't have any impurities to face. I was like, maybe Teddy's just Nanako's, like, shadow... 
that fucking because Nanako is just so innocent and pure or some shit that Teddy just kind of like manifested himself to be like a person right like you know and it's like no that's not it he's just a random shadow that just went I want people to like me it's like okay but how did that happen though what be, like he said it himself as a shadow you just kind of have no thoughts at all at what point did you go i want people to like me because the only people you ever met was the main character in yosuke like did you sense did you sense saki and, and yamino and go maybe i want them to like me right but if you knew they were there before which he didn't then he would have been changed. He would have been saved them, or he probably would have killed them or something. I don't know. <laughs> but it's like Teddy's not Teddy's not explained properly at all. Like it, he's a weird amalgamation. I don't know what the fuck he is. It's not like Igus or Labrys or Did fucking Metis. Teddy? Even Metis is explained better than fucking Teddy is, right? Metis from the answer. And even fucking Morgana is explained better than Teddy, right? So I don't, I don't know what the fuck. The answer is Teddy's a shadow. No, and no one's seen him either. And Teddy said himself that shadows can't exist in the human world. That's why he disappeared. I guess because he lost his ego or something when Nanako died. And that was another thing that I kind of thought. That's like, oh, Nanako's dead. That's why he disappeared because your link to Nanako is gone. And especially when he fucking enters the Velvet Room, he's like, this place seems familiar. It's like, because Nanako is around you all the time. You know, it's a familiar presence, but I guess not. So I don't, I don't know what Teddy is. He's just a random shadow. That somehow just said, fuck it, I'm not a shadow no more. It's, it's stupid. I do not like the explanation of that. Oh, that annoying little furball. Just when we're at a turning point in the case, too. We have no choice. Let's pursue Adachi for now. Whoa. Look how dense this fog is. It's gotten even worse than before. What the... There's this malicious aura everywhere. It feels completely different from the last time I was here. Alright, Lucario, chill out. I think we'd better hurry. Give me a sec to try finding Adachi. Does this mean both this world and ours are getting messed up? Our glasses work on the fog on the other side. It can't be normal. And I heard more people are falling ill because of the fog. I wonder what's going to happen. I sense him. Adachi's definitely in here. Are you serious? Which way? Hold on. So he did come to this side. Well, that settles it. There's virtually no doubt remaining that he's the true culprit. Once we capture him, solving the mystery of this world and the rest of the case can't be far behind. Then... Maybe we'll find out where Teddy came from, too. Man, where is that bear anyway? Well, I can say for sure he's not here. And I know Adachi is here, but I can't track him down myself. Gee, Ted, why aren't you here when we need you most? Adachi's <laughs> here. Well, that settles it. This place. <sighs> I see. I came back, but it really doesn't matter. I'm completely useless. <laughs> exactly. I don't know. Nana that Chana, that now to a moment just makes I'm no so sense to me. I'm so sorry. Teddy? It is you, Teddy. I heard your voice. You said... Hang in there. I heard my big bro and everyone else too. <laughs> Nana-chan, oh, hold on. I'll get the doctor.
It seems she's asleep again. Um, Nana-chan told me that she heard my voice. Sorry, I'm moving around in my seat. She heard me say, hang in there. It could be that her frankly miraculous recovery was because everyone's voices reached her. Even unconscious, people are capable of hearing others' voices. My voice. And theirs too. Everyone. In any case, there are too many things we don't understand about her condition and what caused it. We're doing our best, but it's difficult when everything about her illness is a total unknown. Unknown? Well, if anything happens, please send for me. If I'm an unknown being, then the way I can change is unknown too. So all I have to do is make them not unknown. Nana-chan's doing her best. Sensei and the others are probably fighting now too. I... I'm just a shadow. But Nana-chan cheered up when she heard my voice. So what if I'm just a shadow? There must be something I can do. I can't just give up thinking about things. That's why I came back here. Right, Nana-chan? Teddy's strong will that allowed him to accept and overcome his weakness has awakened his heart's true power. Teddy's persona has been reborn. Kentucky Doji has transfigured into Kamui. Right. I need to get back to the others. I don't like how Kamui has like the long Hang rocket there, tail. It looks weird to me. I'll be back soon. It's no use. I can only tell that Adachi is here, not his exact location. Risa-chan! If only Teddy was with us. Didn't he say his nose is practically useless now? And could he even help us find that bastard? <laughs> nope. He'd be no help at all. So you're just useless, Rize? <laughs> Teddy was always there to support me whenever. Nope, he'd be no help at all. That bear's a loud mouth, but he's nice to have around. He's always so full of energy. He's lighthearted and always optimistic. I'm all right. I just got a little dizzy. The fog's so dense, it's hard to see through it. Why don't we call it a day? It won't do us any good if you collapse. I agree. If Rise-san became fatigued, even if we found Adachi, our capacity in battle would be reduced. Moreover, it's almost nighttime. We should return to our world for the present. I'm just having flashbacks to Persona Ultimax when people play as Rize and then they do her fucking her dance dance revolution minigame. Damn it. <laughs> it came so far to run smack into a dead end. It's like, you better hope that kills me, Rize, because once I'm done, I'm gonna fuck you up. I know he's in there, too. What's wrong with me? Hey, My Squish, welcome are back. completely useless. Nice to see you again. Teddy? You little... Where the hell were you? Just hiding over there like a creep. Uh, I'm sorry. You idiot! Bad bear! Bad! You're so late! Who do you think you are? <laughs> um, Rise-chan? Are you faking? No, stupid! S sorry I want to help you all again! <laughs> nice to be here. Alright, Teddy's back. You know how much trouble you caused, you dumb bear? Where the hell were you? I'm sorry. I figured out a lot of things. Stuff about me and that world. I wanted to tell you all. Teddy, can you take that fucking costume off? I can't take you seriously at all. Jesus. You listen to Teddy's confessions since he finally understand who he really is. He just starts singing like Usher. He's like, these are my confessions. <laughs> 
that he was only a shadow and that though he had his wits uh, blah, 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 though he fuck and that though he was at his wits end he was able to come back to your world a shadow you mean you're one of those things we've been fighting yup just like the ones you all know about wait that's a costume well i mean it is Teddy, but then he gets a human body, and then most of the time he just carries the costume, because I guess he... I don't know, he's like a fucking turtle, I guess. Shadows are suppressed human thoughts, given form. Everyone has them inside. Wait, yes, we gathered that. You say you're a shadow, but you didn't attack us. And you kept telling us from the start that you wanted to bring peace and quiet back to that world, right? But in the end, I was just an ordinary shadow nothing special about me at all i did everything i could until now to try and make my world peaceful but instead the weird fog started seeping out into this world too i'm sorry i'm really sorry if i really was special then maybe you guys ever played the disgaea printy games and you remember that uh one of the printies fucking has the same voice actor as Teddy, so it's literally just a fucking penguin walking around with Teddy's voice. He's like, it's you can no do it, deal. dude! I mean, we weren't expecting much from you in the first place. And about you being a shadow, we pretty much figured you were something like that anyway. Yeah, I mean, once we looked at your x-rays and we saw that you were nothing but flubber on the inside. It was kind of weird. Huh? Ooh, what are you saying? Here I am, pouring my heart out to you, and you say you thought I was something like that anyways? Teddy, we're just saying that we don't care that you were born black. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. No normal person would think such a pretty bear could really be a shadow. So what's the problem with being a shadow? It was a problem with being that color, man. No matter me. that you may have been born that way. But you now possess the power of persona. A shadow is suppressed power. Once controlled by the ego, it becomes a persona. Doesn't it follow then that you must have developed an ego? But he's not a persona though, so it doesn't make sense. He's not a persona with a persona. Whether the ego masters its shadow or the shadow awakens to its ego. What the fuck did you just say, Nato? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. May have been born that way, but now you possess power of persona. A shadow suppressed power. Once controlled by the ego, it becomes a persona. But he's not a walking, talking persona. So it doesn't make sense. That theory doesn't make sense. You don't make sense, Naoto. The only difference I see is the order in which the process occurred. Oh, Teddy's practically human then. Uh, I'm the same as human? Except for the fact that you got no bones. You keep trying to figure out who you are, just like all of us here. He's like, I'm a human, but I can totally flatten my whole body and just fucking make a human shell whenever I want. Description of Teddy as a turtle is moving on is pretty funny. You I mean, that's basically what he is, right? You really aren't that special. See? What's so different between you and us? <laughs> The rest of us were pretty much a group of misfits to begin with, too, right? Who the fuck you calling a misfit, bitch? You fit right in, man. I beg your pardon? Who are you calling <laughs> exactly. a misfit? Exactly! Yeah, I'm with you, Nauto. I'm a fucking upstanding member of society. Isn't that just you, senpai? Yeah, you're the one who fucking out here bringing nurses to the family dining room. Hey, that's not something a detective would say. Or an idol, either. Idols are scandalous. Gee, stop crying, will ya? Now's not the time for that. While you were gone, we figured out who murdered the announcer and Senpai. It was Adachi. Huh? Adachi? That total goofball? Whoa! I didn't notice at all. Looks like I'm pretty blind to that sort of thing. Hmm. But you all know him. If you can't find someone like that, I don't think I can help you. 
Like I said, we're not expecting much from you. Well, the main thing is, it's hard to get pumped about this without someone nice and fuzzy around. Yeah, what Kanji said. Uh, okay. <laughs> Dude, I love how they're like, Yay, Teddy, you're back. Now we all have someone we can collectively shit upon again. Thanks, guys. All right, now that the band's back together, let's take it from the top. It's been a while, but I'll do my best to look for him, too. Leave it to Fuzzy. Fuzzy Wuzzy was a bear. Fuzzy Wuzzy had no hair. So Fuzzy Wuzzy wasn't really fuzzy, was he? <laughs> that was stupid, all right. You're taking another step towards the truth. The truth is that we don't really know jack shit about you, Teddy. I think this is why they didn't try pulling this shit ever again. <laughs> like, they touched on it a little bit with Metis, but it's like, okay, whatever, right? He's not that important. Then they tried again with Teddy, and they said, you know what, fuck it, forget about it. Let's just go to Morgana make it better. Aw, I'm lonely. In this house. Fully recover from yesterday's events. You should go over to the TV world with everyone after school. Alrighty then. Oh my god. I think this whole stream might just be story events, honestly. Jesus fuck, are you serious? <laughs> We're like almost two and a half hours in. I'll give it a try. And zero but gameplay has happened. If Risei chan couldn't find him, I really doubt someone with a dried up nose like me will be much help. Yeah, Teddy's like, my nose is dried up. Maybe if I just get it a little wet. Any volunteers? Hmm. I do smell a dachi baby in here, but the fog is completely covering up his scent. A dachi baby? You know something that I don't? You subscribe to his only hands? Teddy, you can't do it either? When you look at me with those eyes, I get this feeling. I've got to sniff him out no matter what! This is my time to shine! <laughs> Ooh, I'm getting something! <laughs> Teddy? Hey, quit wandering around. You better not flake out on us again. Huh? Yeah, you're looking hella constipated. I sense it from this away. Is it Itachi? Um, how do I put it? It's kind of hazy, but at the same time, it feels like I've got a whopper on the line. I don't get it. Very suspicious. This definitely smells. Teddy's like, my God, must be a bunch of Smash players over there. I can smell your ass from all the way over here. Take a fucking shower. But that's weird. If I remember right, that's where Sensei, Yosuke, and Chie-chan came from when I met them for the first time. When we first... where was that? Oh, you mean that creepy-ass room where all the faces on the posters were cut out? Yep, there's someone there! Teddy, you really are amazing! It was just dumb luck. It's because that's where I first sensed Sensei and the others. That's why it kind of smelled over there. The fuck does that mean? Oh, I see. Wait, did you say it smelled? Wasn't that the room where Yosuke had to go to the bathroom and... He didn't actually do it, Shia. Huh? You're saying he beat his pants there? Ew, I don't want to hear it. Oh, you lie so bad. Dude, I did not piss my pants. Shia, quit spreading random rumors about stuff like that. Uh, well, it happened so long ago, my memory's kind of fuzzy, you know? Okay, guys, enough fuzziness. Follow me, the master of fuzzy logic. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't heard you crack up in a while, Yukiko. Yes, I think none of us missed it. Though I really wonder sometimes about your sense of humor. 
The cheerful mood has returned to the group, thanks to Teddy. And you've taken another step towards the truth. Seekers of Truth Social Link has reached level 7. Your power to create personas of Judgment Arcana has grown. That damn bitch. I noticed her first, and she just had to run off and have an affair. Alright, Reddit user, calm down. Who's there? Oh, it's you guys. You're very persistent. Give it up, Adachi. I don't know what you're talking about. You're not lying your way out of this one, damn it! Just being here proves it! Answer us! You're the one who threw Ms. Yamano into the TV, aren't you? <laughs> it was an accident. She started struggling. What else was I supposed to do? I called her out to the lobby because I wanted to ask her something, and then she started getting hysterical on me. More plot exposition. Who are you? And what's this something important you called me out here for? What they say on the news isn't true, is it? All that talk about you having an affair and whatnot. It was it's Itachi all, all along? <laughs> yes. The cat's out of the bag now. Why do I have Welcome to back to myself Jack. to you? Nice to see you again. I see. So you don't deny it. You cut my eye. But it turns out you're another worthless bitch. R slash nice guy. Swore it was Nanako. What's wrong with you? Don't make me call for help. <sighs> shut up. Shut up. Shut up. I think you need to see what it's like to fear for your life. It'll get your head straight. Hey, uh, who's the voice actor of uh, Adachi? Is it is it Johnny Young Bosch? And if it is, <laughs> what are you going to do? If it is, is, is he on cameo? I got an idea. No. <laughs> yeah, I got an idea. She do you know if he's on cameo? <laughs> wow! So people can go completely inside. Bosch? Bach? Ba I don't even know. I think it's Bosch. That's Good how you pronounce his me, last name, no right? One else was around there in the middle of the night. Cameo's the fucking, uh, what is it? It's like a, it's a website or an app or whatever where, like, actors or voice actors or celebrities go on it and they're like, You pay me a hundred dollars and I'll say something. You tell me what to say and I'll, I'll say it. That happened in our lobby? I learned about the Midnight Channel through some rumor. You hear a lot of fishy stories like that on the Force. Because I think I think I would really like to to fucking you know to bring to reverence back a joke that we did earlier in the playthrough of Adachi's having an OnlyFans called Only Hands. I think I would like to have have a fucking um like a voice line for people who subscribe in the future. To say, to have a dodgy say something like, you just got a premium subscription to OnlyHands? <laughs> or some but shit like that. it was like pure that. coincidence that I touched the screen and discovered my power. I burst out laughing when I found out. I knew right away that this was going to be interesting. So you tested it out on Mayumi Yamano? Nah, it was nothing like that. I'm a very sincere fellow. I was just trying to punish the stupid bitch a little for betraying me. Jesus. <laughs> Said that with no remorse. Yeah, putting them inside the TV was never the plan. But you know, both Mayumi and that dippy high school girl struggled for no reason. Then you were responsible for Saki-senpai's death! Saki? Oh yeah, her name was Saki Kunishi, or something like that. At first I just called her in because of work-related stuff. Her being the one who found Mayumi's body and all. And naturally, if there was any chance she'd seen something, I'd need to know, right? So I was all set to be a nice guy to her. And then that bitch. What's this about anyways? Didn't you call me in for more questions? 
Jesus. Well, we'll get to that. But you know, I'm I saw you this afternoon. I'm sorry. Sometimes I just like Saki's cute and all, right? Sometimes I'm just like, Yasuke, you you fell for that? Imagine waking up in the morning to that like, Yasuke, what do you want for breakfast this morning? Like Jesus. You were getting pretty cozy with that Namatame. Huh. So I'm not good enough for you. Well, I know how to deal with girls like you. No! Damn, just grabbed her by the head and just God, these threw her in there? Today. This world's gone straight to shit. When I was in school, I wasn't allowed to do anything but study my ass off. I was supposed to be the best of the best, and instead they stick me in the boonies. But I guess I got the sweet power to make up for it. <laughs> Life's not so bad after all. <laughs> Tachi just wants a world with no bitches. Get on your knees and beg, and maybe I'll let you out. Jesus. <laughs> yeah, like that'll happen. As if I'd walk into a death trap like that. It was a lot easier the second time. High school girls are thinner, you know? Lighter. <laughs> Little bitches get kicked out. We don't want no skinny bitches. <laughs> you guys ever see that video on YouTube? Fucking the two guys in their basement or whatever. He's like, I got big booty bitches. <laughs> you son of a bitch. Come on, give me a break. I didn't know it was dangerous inside the TV. It's not like I was trying to kill them. I mean, I'm sure they hit on Namatame, not the other way around. A council secretary will one day rise to public office himself. Mayumi and that high schooler were just gold digging. They got exactly what they deserved. I didn't do anything wrong at all. Shut the hell up! You knew from what happened to Mayumi Yamano that people die in here! <sighs> people die when they are killed. So what if I knew? Damn, dog. Who the fuck else you kill? No one. You already know it was Namatame who did the rest. He called the police in the middle of the night just after they found that Saki girl's body. The rest of the force had their hands full with the double homicide, and it happened that I was the one who took the call. Namatame said the police refused to take him seriously. You were responsible for that then. Oh, quite the contrary. If anyone else had taken the call, sure. But I actually did believe him, you know? Huh, that's the pattern to the two deaths so far? And now you're seeing a girl in a kimono on that weird program, and you think she'll die too, is that right? This makes no sense to me. I don't know how it works in Japan, but... Usually the police aren't the ones that pick up the phone. It's volunteers, right? Namatame-san, do you seriously expect us to believe something like that? But, but it's true! If there's any way the police can protect her... Listen, there's no way the police are going to make a move based on a fantasy story like that. <laughs> it does sound interesting, though. B but Oh, I have an idea. If you really want to save her that much, why not do it yourself? You don't get this part either. Like, you could shelter her somewhere. Someplace where no one could find her. I, I mean, I get it, because they got to make the story flow somehow, right? But, you know, it's it's like with any story ever. It's like if you put any sort of reality into it, you just break that shit apart. Where no one could find her? Save her yourself. You can do it. How did, how did Adachi know that Namatame can put people in? I don't think he did. I think, I think, um, when he saw Saki getting attacked or whatever, or fucking, yeah, yeah, when he saw Saki getting attacked, wait, no, fuck, I'm sorry, let me, let me, let me start over. He saw Mayumi Yamano and Saki get attacked on the TV, they both ended up dead the next day. Then when he saw Yukiko end it, he said, well, I can't walk up to her because now I'm suspected by the police. So, and the last time I tried to warn someone, fucking it didn't work. So, I guess I'm just going to call the police and tell them, hey man, I think this is how it's done. Right? 
the thing that just doesn't make sense is that like usually the police don't pick up the phone themselves it's usually some sort of operator or some shit i'm busy so i'm hanging up now so adachi would never have the opportunity you know if it was if it was quote unquote real adachi would never have the opportunity to ever like you know tell him to do it himself And Adachi, I think Adachi was just like, ah, go ahead and deal with it. Isn't that amazing? I think he just kind of stroked out, right? On luck. Where he's like, I just told Nam Tommy to fuck off and figure it out himself. I didn't know he could put people on TV, but it made it even better. Of all the people who could have received Nam Tommy's call, it ended up being me. Talk about luck. All I did was give him a little push. And he completely bought into his vision of this world. The more people you guys saved, the more he'd kidnap. Both sides had the best of intentions, so the game of cat and mouse would never end. <laughs> it was awesome. You gotta be shitting me! Why? What reasons could you have for doing that? <laughs> reasons? None, really. I could do it, that's all. And it was fun. I guess that's my reason? You murdered people just for the fun of it?! Come on, all I did was put people in here. I didn't murder them. And that's where all the debate starts for uh, Adachi. Adachi's a weird thing where it's like, it's kind of like nature versus nurture, right? Because you hang out with them, which you didn't used to do in original Persona, right? You hang out with him, he talks about how, you know, fucking his life sucks or whatever growing up and, and you know, people look down on him and shit or whatever. And you think, oh, he's a killer because he's getting back at society or some bullshit, right? But then you also have the other side where he's just like, nah, I just did it because it's fun, man, because I could. And then that's how you get a bunch of arguments starting. It's like, did he do it because it was fun? He's just an asshole? Or does he have some psychological problem or some bullshit? No. And Namatame did most of it. I had nothing to do with any of you. It's kind of like when people used to ask the fucking question that got like super annoying where it's like, is Batman as insane as the villains he puts away? You know, but then I guess people stopped asking that because everyone got tired of asking that fucking question. You're just dodging the blame. Yeah? Then how would you prove it? He put people inside TVs? <laughs> you think the police are that stupid? Again, all these people just walk up to a TV and be like, oh, you don't believe me? Stick your hand through it. What a jerkwad! I do admit, though, I never thought you guys would manage to track me down. I like that. Games like this gotta have surprises or they get boring fast. It's like when I dealt with that Kubo kid. That was fun, too. Then, you mean to say that Mitsuo Kubo's disappearance was your doing as well? I did sense something odd in his course of action. If he had special powers and wanted attention, why resort to a regular copycat crime? But that wasn't the case. Kubo had no such powers. In fact, he was thrown in by you. Am I correct? It had been a while since I last put someone inside the TV, so I really got a kick out of that one. Why did you do that? And how come Mitsuo didn't say anything about you? <laughs> you think that didn't occur to me before I did it? Come on, I'm a detective. I led him through to a room at the station with a TV, switched off the lights, and did it quick while he was still startled. As long as he didn't see me push him in and no one else did either, no one would believe him, even if he survived. Of course, I don't think the Kubo kid ever figured out what happened. <laughs> Wait, the police station? Yeah, he turned himself in pretty quick, actually. This was back when we didn't even know enough to issue a search warrant. But the other officers decided it was just a prank, so they pawned him off on me. I didn't blame them. I mean, a kid coming and saying, I did it all, it was me! Who'd believe him? But it looked bad. I didn't think anyone would come forward and take the blame for all the incidents. The police were desperate to pin it on anyone. If this kid really did it, they might have announced the case was closed. And if that happened, Namatame would stop saving people. I couldn't let that happen, or the game would be over. That's why I told the others I sent him home. I came up with the idea to put him inside the TV on the spot. The game would be over? You threw him in just so your fun wouldn't end? 
You gotta have some excitement in life, don't you agree? But then you guys put your foot in it yet again and ruined my fun. Thanks to you, Kubo was arrested again, and everyone acted like he was the true culprit behind it all. <sighs> Couldn't they see how badly he copied the crime scene? It worked out in the end, though, because good old Namatame kept saving people. I guess the guy started to develop some kind of messiah complex, huh? <laughs> what an idiot. This is all a game to you. How dare you murder people? Murder Saki-senpai for such a stupid reason! You bastard! I'll never forgive you! I like how... If you look at all the subtext of the shit that... Of the shit that happens and, um... You know, the words that are said throughout the game. That... Everything in the case... Is pointing towards... Someone viewing it just as a game, right? Like, you walk walk up to Naoto and Naoto's like, it's not a game for me. It's like, it's not a game for me either, right? Then you deal with Mitsuo, and you're like, oh, his dungeon's a video game because he's a fucking loser, and he's a shut-in, and he fucking just plays video games. It's like, yeah, that's true. But also, he's mentally disturbed, right? On top of that, feeling guilt and remorse for what he did, he runs in to the police, uh, to the fucking police office and goes, I did it, I killed the guy, I did it, right? They pawn him off to Adachi, and someone who's like, hysterical at the moment right and has and it has some crazy depression or some shit going on in his life some you know psycho trauma going on right that mixed with his own background of being like a, a fucking a smash player <laughs> never leaving the room you know and fucking like adachi going like well i can't let the game end shoves him in the fucking tv and then you go to his you go to his dungeon and it's like, let the game begin. It's like a big ass subtext to be like, this whole entire thing is a farce. You can keep your forgiveness. Our world will probably become just like this place soon enough anyways. Didn't you notice? The fog's leaking out. Everything on that side's pretty much screwed. The two worlds will merge soon, and then there'll be no difference, no sides anymore. What the hell's he talking about? This isn't his real body. The real Adachi is somewhere else. But this guy feels different from an ordinary shadow. It doesn't seem like he's going berserk. <laughs> wow, you can tell that much? This me is just around to greet you guys, and thank you for wasting your time by chasing me in here. I'd say this world has taken a real shine to me. I feel like it's giving me everything I've ever wanted. And the monsters don't attack me at all. Maybe they can tell we have the same goal. The Shadow's goal? By the end of the year, Inaba will disappear completely into the fog. Soon, this place will be reality. That's a lie, by the way. When he says the end of the year, he means by December tw uh, 25th, by Christmas Day. I'll be in this world, so if you want me, come and get me. So... This world has a mind of its own. Make sure you deal with we'll Adachi before the 25th. The 24th is your last day. Keep your bullshit to yourself. It's about time you shut the hell up. We'll finish this right now! What a chump. Didn't, Didn't I just, I tell, just tell you the real me is somewhere, somewhere else? else? I'll, I'll be expecting, expecting you all. We'll put an end to this. Get back here, you... That stuff about the world's mind and how this place will become our reality. Was he serious? The rest of his confessions were consistent. We'd best proceed under the assumption that it's no lie. It felt like he's gained some strong power after coming here. Not only that, maybe he got taken over by that power. So what he said about the two worlds becoming one, that's really gonna happen? Didn't he say that it would happen by the end of this year? What happens then? I think he means this world will engulf the human world. And then it will be like fucking uh, Nocturne all over again. It'll be a bad game. <laughs> the 
<laughs> people in town are acting weird. How many people did it's I piss like off by saying It's like when the shadows that. that emerged from people went berserk. If the fog gets even thicker, and this town is completely shut off from the outside world, then the other side might become full of shadows, like over here. You mean everyone's going to turn into shadows? Damn it! Damn that bastard! They never explain whose fucking room this is, by the way. I think it might belong to fucking uh, Mayumi Yamato. Why? We went through so much to get here, and now it turns out he was pulling our strings this whole time? No more. Yeah. It's about time we finished this. I don't want to feel this way ever again. There's a path we can take now. I sense Adachi's presence from that direction. He's taunting us. Bring it on! Let's go kick his ass right now! Wait. I suggest we prepare ourselves first. We can't let him stab us in the back ever again. We must face him with all the power at our disposal and defeat him without fail. I'm a little worried what he means by the end of the year. But now's not the time to freak out. Well, he doesn't mean the end of the year. I'll tell you that, Chia. Let's get prepared. Let's get over prepared. I found that out the hard way. His stupid smug face. I was like, what? I thought you said the end of the year. And then fucking Christmas Day, Naoto calls you. And she's like, there's shadows everywhere. And then you just hear her have like this blood curdling scream and she dies. And I'm like, oh, fuck. What happened? Senpai, please don't go on alone. I understand that it must hurt, since you seem to have a personal relationship with him. What you know about my personal relationship? Maybe that's why. I feel a presence kind of like yours up ahead. He might be calling to you. Wait, never mind. Forget I said that. We're all going together, okay? Promise us. I think they're on to me. All those nights I spent alone with with Dojima away from the house and Nanako asleep and Adachi just hanging out. The unexpected true culprit has finally been confirmed. Before the end of the year, which is a fucking lie, this town will be swallowed by fog. You must finish things before then. You, res uh, you resolve to fully pre Oh, fuck. You resolve to fully prepare your... Before facing Adachi. And then I stuttered all over the place because I can't speak. Sound like fucking Porky Pig. Alrighty then. Damn it. <laughs> Shit. Uh. Guess I can save over this then. This should be fine, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Alright. Shit. Let me even check the damn time. Who the fuck? Ugh, why is this dude texting me like early in the morning? I'm not doing that. All right. Well, here's what I had planned for the stream. I thought we would be, you know, pass all the story shit earlier. I didn't think it would take fucking almost three hours. It takes a lot, Persona Four. But here's how Adachi's uh, fucking time limit works. Unlike all the other. All the other dungeons where you can do it, you know, you do it before the time limit, you would have, you know, some time to wait around and stuff like that and finish what you're doing. Adachi's dungeon works where once you go there and you finish it, the game will fast forward to fucking Christmas Day, right? So you lose all that time for no fucking apparent reason, right? So we're going to have to run out the clock, basically. And since, you know, since I made a, uh, since I made a, um, what you call it? I made another save file to where I leveled up our characters and stuff. So we don't have any trouble in that dungeon. That also means that I fast forward time and hung out with some people. So I got a list here that I wrote down on about everything that I did. So I'm just going to have to redo all that. 
You should rest early today to get ready for the search. I'm going to bed. You can't stop me. I'm sleepy. I'm a sleepy boy. It's a quiet night. You remember what your friend said. He might be calling to you. We're all going together, okay? Promise us. What should you do? If you leave now, you may be able to make it in time before Juno's closes. You decide to go see Adachi's alone. Wait, what? I'm sorry, I added a word in there. You decide to go to Adachi's alone. Juno's electronics department. There's nobody around. The room is quiet. There's no sign of anyone around. Is Adachi here? The entrance disappeared. This is a problem. Why didn't you bring the rest of them? You're such a party pooper. You couldn't even bring your wannabe detective friend? Came by myself. <sighs> so boring. Your whole gang should be here. You know, work together, beat the bad guy. Friendship, effort, victory. You guys love that stuff. I believed in you, ma'am. Oh, really? Just what was it about me that made you want to believe in me so bad? Well, I don't have anything to say to you. If crimes could be solved by appealing to morality, we wouldn't need the police. The person you believed in was a version of me who only existed in your head. You decided on your own to believe in me, and that decision betrayed you. Why complain about it to me? So that's what you're gonna tell Dojima? You say the dumbest shit. It's people like you who come to me alone, naively thinking you can turn me around, that piss me off the most. What do you think will happen if I shoot you? You just committed one more crime. You're right. That's all it would be. The bullet brushed past your ear. You smell the- I don't even know how to fucking say that word. You smell the acrid, acrid, whatever the fuck. You smell the scent of burning gun smoke. Do you get it now? We're done talking. I won't miss next time. It didn't seem like a threat. But you don't think you can talk to Adachi anymore. You feel that your relationship with Adachi has changed dramatically. Thou art I, I am thou. Thou hast seen how bonds may change. The bond that hath changed is thy first step to learning the truth. I didn't get to read the rest, because I was trying to be dramatic. Toro Odachi Social Link Arcana has changed from the Jester to Hunger. Want me to let you choose? You can go back to your friends and bring them all here. Or you can die now. I guess regular revenge is boring, though. Let me see where your detective work takes you. It's always good for a laugh. You're so persistent! 
Look at all that youthful vigor you've got. Come on, leader. Bring all your friends back here. Well, bye-bye. The entrance is closed. I see Madachi is blocking you. That Adachi wasn't the real him either. Unless you come back with your friends, you won't be able to reach Adachi. You must go back for now. All right, Lelouch. Jesus. I just want to say back. what's up. Oh. I told you not to go alone. Though I knew you would anyway. It's okay. I understand. I'll keep it a secret from the others, and I won't ask about Adachi for now. But come on, you should trust us more. Yosuke seems a bit sad. Anyway, I'm glad you're safe. <clears throat> Attention customers, it is now closing time. Please visit us again tomorrow. You couldn't get through to Adachi. The day that the town will be swallowed by the fog should be near the end of the uh, should be near the end of the year. You must reach a decision by then. You must prepare yourself as completely as possible. You overheard students talking. What are they saying? Is this fog getting thicker and thicker, or is it just me? Damn girl, it is you. I can see it from here. Hey, what's up? <laughs> Does this mean the world's coming to an end? I actually heard someone say that. What do you think's gonna happen? Earthquake? Tsunami? Uh, nothing's gonna happen. It's just fog, you doofus. Hey, you fucking dweebenheimer. Besides, if something terrible happens, the defense force or somebody is sure to come save us. Yeah, I guess you're right. What if, what if a giant monster attacks Inaba? Or aliens? I saw a movie about something like that. Hey everybody! The test results are here! The awful moment of truth. Oh well, wanna check it out? you damn right I do. I already know I'm top of the class. Because I'm a vivid and expert. Your score was in top 10. Excuse me? Top 10? What happened? Feel that you became slightly closer to your school friend. Slightly? Fuck all you guys. What happened? Top 10? Excuse me? Alright. Top 10. Fucking. How did that happen? How did I fuck that up? Jesus. I'm supposed to be number one. I think this is where I left off, right? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Alright, I'm not gonna save it. Alright, so here's the list I got going on. I'm gonna choose everything that I did for that. Mainly because I just don't want to change anything that may have happened. So, day one, what the hell did I do? I went to go hang out with I. Let's go hang out with I. We're gonna do that. Do I even have time to do this? I don't even think I got time to do this. Oh shit. <laughs> I might not. I might not have time to do this. Oh. What do you want? I want to hang out with you. Sure. I know you don't got nothing better to do, I. Just sitting there staring at your locker. Okina Station, Kokoro Fur. Cro Croco? Whatever. Today I feel like getting something that's easy to slip into. I don't know how to. I was gonna say something, but I don't know how that would come out, actually. I was gonna say something along the lines like right, you can slip into me, but that doesn't, you know, that don't make sense. <laughs> it doesn't look like they've gotten anything new in. I already have all of this. All right, what did I choose? So why'd you buy so much? Because I hate wearing a uniform. That's why. I mean, you look cute in it. Damn it! It's a cool ass uniform. 
I frowns. I already fucked up because that wasn't even the one that I chose. I chose two before. Oops. Hey, I'm thirsty. Buy me a nice latte. Buy it yourself, bitch. Huh? Huh? Did you seriously just say that? You're probably the first guy who ever talked talk that uh, taking that tone with me. Girl, you richer than I am. Oh, I chan, you're back again. Well, yeah. Are you looking for anything in particular today? Oh, we got a purse that that's just your style. The guys will be all over you. That's all right. I'm not shopping for purses today. Oh, is that your boyfriend? He's quite a handsome one. Are you going to introduce him to me? I've had the worst luck with men lately. We were at the bar the other night. Sorry, we really got to get going. I'll be back, though. You return to the station. Fog has enveloped the area. I hate salespeople. I'm the one keeping them in business. Why do they have to pounce on me every time I go in there? They should get rid of all salespeople and put them in vending machines. Press a button and come out, and out comes your clothes. Uh, that'd be kind of boring. Huh? You think so? But what's the point of all the petty small talk? I can see, I can see right through it. There's no such thing as relationship without ulterior motives. I look somewhat sad. I don't know why, but I got a little annoyed when she was talking about you back there. She said you are handsome. Good for you, I guess. The fuck? Bitch, don't hate me because I'm beautiful. Feel like you understand I a little bit more now. I don't think I do. <laughs> Out here preying on my downfall. Come on. The Ayabihara Link has reached level 2. Let's go home. It'll be dark by the time we get back. Not like I have any reason to hurry. Goodbye. You returned to Inaba with I and went home. I don't matter how much you hate me, I still love you, girl. I can never hate you. Alright. Time to go work at the janitor's place. Janitor's place? The hospital. That's what I mean. That's what that place is called. No! Oops! <laughs> no, no, no. There we go. Hospital. It's dark and scary. You pretend not to notice. Oh, you there. Sorry, but can you take this person to the... I'm fine. But your face is very pale. You're aware that you gained something of a reputation recently, right? I'm not the only one who would rather see you return to the easy-to-work-with Sayo-chan from not too long ago. I have to work- I have work to do. If you'll excuse me. Huh. Don't tell me you're slacking off, too. <sighs> I know I'm getting nowhere, but I have to do it. Sayoko seems genuinely tormented. You're so worried about- what? You're so worried about Sayoko, you hesitate to even say something to her. Oh god, she's on rank 8? I didn't even know that shit. <laughs> goodbye now. Goodbye. Oh, goodbye. Oh, bye-bye. You watch Sayoko walk away, then went home. You're in 8,000. It's really fucked up that I get paid less for working at a hospital than I do for tutoring a little punk-ass kid. Hey. Well, good morning, you. It's finally time to fight the real culprit. To be honest, I'm still shocked to learn that it was Adachi-san. But I can never forget what he said or what he's done. Don't worry, we'll win this. Uh-huh, I won't lose either. <laughs> Silly girl, you won't lose because I don't think I'm bringing you into the fight with me. <laughs> I'm worried. <laughs> That's pretty fucked up. I'm worried about Nanako Chang. We must. Uh, I can't read. And we can't just let him do whatever he wants. We'll put an end to this for everyone's sake and for my own.
Sure, it's getting cold as we move into December. The fog's not lifting either, so be sure to stay healthy. I was just watching something on TV. Those polar bears sure are active, even in the cold. Fuzzy wuzzy polar bears. Their fur isn't actually white, you know. Isn't that right, Yukun? You seem happy about something. Do you know what color a fuzzy wuzzy polar bear's fur really is? It's transparent, bitch. Kinda like your personality. <laughs> Good job. Yep, it's actually transparent. The transparent fur scatters the light that hits it, making it appear white to us. Their skin is black, though, letting them effectively absorb the, sun, the sun's rays. Those animals are well equipped to have fun in the cold. Give the correct answer. Because you're so fucking smart. And everyone loves you. And you have the biggest peen in the world. And no one can ever tell you otherwise. Just keep boasting myself up. Alright. Head downstairs. Today we hang out with Naoto. Naoto Chi! Hello. Good day, you son. Ah, uh, yes. Can you spare some time with me today? We need to take time, refresh our minds ever so often, lest we become overwhelmed with exhaustion. Maybe you should hang out with Naoto. I have something I want to speak to you about, since you have Fortuna. Okay, cool. Spend time with Naoto? Yes. Uh, okay. Oh, uh, shoot. I told myself I played cool when I said that. Hmm. I have something I want to... I have something I want to have. Wait, what? I have something I want you to have. So, I want to go somewhere. Where we can be alone. Listen. Dojima and Nanako is not home. I'm just saying. You know? I'm out here on my Flowrider. Talking about. Welcome to my house. Play the music maybe a little too loud. <laughs> Your room. Nato's looking around. Interesting. I see. So this is where you live. And where I do other things, too, that I'm not going to say out loud. I can see furnishings here and there that don't match your tastes. The fuck you know about my taste? These are temporary lodgings, of course. Judging by the position of your TV, you regularly watch the Midnight Channel. The fuck you know about my taste? I'm dating you, right? <laughs> what? Oh man. Come on, Nato. Why don't you sit yourself your sexy self down? Oh sure. Uh there? Uh that's a bit close. Anyway, I'm sorry for intruding like this. I I wanted to give you something. And I'm ready to receive. I don't know how that came out, but it came out some way. I, uh, made this. Please accept it. You obtained Detective's Badge. Okay, I haven't crafted anything like this in some time. Now, so you ever think about selling shit on Etsy? You should try that. If I went back to the estate, I could have added a camera and transceiver. Oh, but it flashes. I made myself one to match. <laughs> Now, so you're a fucking dork. I love you. Don't laugh or say it's stupid or childish, okay? The title of detective became a burden to me. I thought I had no other aspects apart from detective self. But you gave me a reason to be as neither adult nor man. Senpai, being with you, I felt I was glad to be a detective. And <sighs> do, do you find the pitch of my voice strange? Eh, that's whatever you want, Nato. I don't care. I I see. Um, thank you for accepting me as I am. I may not be the best. I may be incomplete in many ways. But I think I can get to like myself. Nato smiling gently.
Now to a strong will that allows her to accept and overcome her weakness has awakened her heart's true power. Naoto's persona has been reborn. Sukuna Hikonda has transfigured into Yamoto Ta- I don't even fucking know how to pronounce that. Jesus. Ta Takeru? Yamoto Takeru? Something like that. I'm not Japanese. I'm not going to pretend that I am. This potential was still dormant within me. I'm a shitty gaijin. I wasn't considering the things that I should have. The people who care about me, as well as my own self. The detective. The child. The woman. The me who existed before them. I am... simply myself. I'm glad to have met you. Likewise, Nato. You can sense Nato's passionate love. You feel a tight bond between you and Nato. I'm gonna feel something tight, alright. I art thou when thou art me. Together we will be a happy family. We bestow upon thee the ability to create Nor, the ultimate of the fortune arcana. Now the Shurigana social link has been maximized. You did it. Congratulations. You have formed a bond that cannot be broken. Ma uh, by mastering fortune... Sp uh, fuck. By mastering the fortune social link, you can now fuse Nor, the triple... Godhead of fate. Now Toe's growth has affected her heart and her persona as well. Invigorate three. Uh, yes, please. Thank you very much. Now Toe, I will make you the most broken character in this game. You're quite close. Well, that's a lie. I'm gonna be the most broken character in this game because I got the Toby hustle. sure how to put it the puzzle of my emotions has been solved already but <sighs> I love you <laughs> you passed a long time <laughs> damn it you passed a long while with Nato it's gotten dark so you walk Nato to her house you know I bet it got dark somewhere then I showed her my glow in the dark watch it was pretty cool you can work as a janitor tonight. Is that what I did? I work as a janitor tonight. It's totally what I did. It's in my notes right here. Let's go do that. Let's go, let's go to the hospital. I don't think this thing, uh, I don't think it ranks up around this time because I really didn't do shit last time. Good work, you can report today's progress. Yeah, so I cleaned and then I cleaned some more. And then I cleaned over there. And I cleaned over here. I cleaned almost everywhere. I'm not doing the ceiling, that's too much work. You've heard students talking. Are they talking shit about me? What are they saying? My brother passed out yesterday. No one at the hospital knows what caused it. My parents are saying it's because of the poisonous fog. Don't worry about what's causing it. I have great news for you. I joined a club called the Healing Club. It's going to teach us how to neutralize the toxins in the fog. All we have to do is get around in a circle and just fucking jerk off in front of each other. And then the evil, the evil gunk will just expel outwards. <laughs> it's pretty popular in my area. I know a lot of people who are in the club. We also carry around these fucking crystals. <laughs> That's necklace, these white crystals. <laughs> J.O. Crystals. <laughs> Fucking stupid. <laughs> Why don't you join too? Ask your brother to join the club. Can you tell me more about it? I'm seriously starting to worry about my health. I've been starting to feel ill recently, you know? But your club can cure me. If it's that popular, it must work, right? If it's popular, I, I must listen to it. Still foggy all over town, but believe it or not, harsh weather makes your body stronger. I heard that, unless you're in Japan, and they're like, don't go outside in the rain, you'll catch cold. 
Meanwhile, they're fucking having Dragon Ball Z battles all over the place. <laughs> Bleeding internally. I heard that on TV yesterday, and I'm pretty sure that's right. But man, with all the, f uh, with all the fog, I bet people with curly hair are having a hard time keeping their... Fuck, it sucks having curly hair. Oh my god. Anyone, I swear, anyone that's like, Oh, being natural curly is fine. It's amazing. They're lying to themselves. It fucking sucks. All right. Here's a question about hair, Natakami. You're looking at me, so this question is for you. What determines whether a hair grows curly or straight? The cross section. I know this because I wish my hair was straight, but it's not. <laughs> wow, you knew this one. Yes, hair shape determines whether it's going to be curly or straight as it grows. A straight hair is perfectly round, but the curly hair is all uh, is oval, oval, uh, fuck, oval or triangular. The flatter a hair's cross section, the curlier the hair becomes. <coughs> Sorry, I need to cough. I need to have a drink or something. Fix up my water. <coughs> Alright. I heard that from Miss Kashiwagi. So if you've got curly hair, watch out for the fog. Man, if you got curly hair, just watch out from living. Because you're going to do your hair in the morning and it's going to get fucked up and then you're going to go to sleep and then you're going to have to spend another three hours again. <laughs> it sucks. It's not fun. It's not fun at all. Alright, let's see. Who do we hang out with today? We're hanging out with Ko. Ko, get your ball polishing looking ass over here. Hey, you. Oh, sorry. You're going to practice. Oh, I forgot, Ko. You're depressed. You're sad for some reason. You're a sad guy. You're a sad person. Today is the scrimmage. What? Yeah, the scrimmage game that you and Daisuke planned against another school. Hmm. Is the other team here yet? More importantly, is Ko here yet? Daisuke, this is the gym, not the field, you know? I'm on the basketball team today. That's a tall-ass dude. The fuck y'all feeding him? Jesus. All right, they're here. The game's about to start, Ko. Huh? Huh? Wait, we don't have enough players. I see five of us right here. But that's counting you. Look, I know you think I'm I know you think that no matter how hard you train, you're not accomplishing anything. But you can't do it all by yourself. You got us. And you got the rest of the guys who showed up today. Don't forget that. Don't forget it. Don't you dare forget it. The scrimmage began. Co skills are undeniable. But the opposing team is passing well. It's a close game. You're playing your best today. Your defense is tenacious, and you managed to prevent the opposing team from scoring several times. You fucking go get that shit out of here. But the score is tied. There's only a few seconds left until the final buzzer. An opponent fakes out Daisuke and scores. Your team lost the game. Fucking Daisuke, oh my god, that's why we can't have nothing nice ever. You suck, Daisuke. Daisuke, I got a question for you. How the fuck you play soccer all the time, but you still manage to get your ankles broken? Makes no sense. <laughs> <laughs> the three of you came up here after the game. Fog hasn't developed the area. <sighs> I can't believe we lost. You and I were on fire out there, too. I'm not surprised, though. I won't name names, but we had one guy out there who didn't even know what traveling is. No matter how hard you train, you can't do it all by yourself. So, why did I say it like that? Ew, that was gross. Ew. Ew, I had like a country drawl when I said that. You can't do it by yourself. Can't do it by all, all by yourself. Is that how it went? Man. Even after dropping a pearl of wisdom like that. Oh, shut up, damn it. Look, the whole reason we set this this match up was for <laughs> <laughs> I know. It was all for me, right? Yeah, 
I feel... better. I don't know how to say it, but I don't feel so alone anymore. Does that make sense? Ko looks up at the sky. I mean, he's already doing that. Lately, I've been feeling bad for my parents. They took me in and raised me, hoping that I'd carry on the Ijijo name, you know? But then Sachiko was born, and even if she can't carry on the name, she'll be the successor- <laughs> She'll be the success- mm. She'll be the successor of the family. But what does that mean? What does that make me? I'm not related by blood, so... Don't I even have a purpose? It's like there's no point in them even raising me anymore. Should I just leave? Ah, you're thinking too much, Ko. Why? Did your mom and dad say something? No. They've all been really good to me. It's not them, it's me. So you think just because you're not your real... <clears throat> think just because they're not your real parents, that they're not your family? And this family? That's a load of bull. What do you mean? If we can be family without being related, why are they getting a tutor for a two-year-old? Why is it suddenly okay for me to play basketball? I can't- I can quit my lessons? I don't have to go to school- I don't have to go to social gatherings anymore? Why would they tell me that stuff? It means they don't need me anymore, doesn't it? That I've been replaced, right? Sorry. Sorry. I know yelling at you guys won't solve anything. I'm gonna drop by the Institute. The Institute? You mean... Yeah, the orphanage. So what you doing? I was thinking maybe I ask about my real parents. Ah, so like Stuart Little, and then you're gonna find out they were crushed by a can of peas. <laughs> At a grocery store. You gonna go meet them? I don't know. I got it. If that's what you need to do, then do it. I know you'll be back. Thanks, man. Uh, well, thanks. Hey, about the game. When I heard you set it up just for me, it made me really happy. Thanks again, guys. Co laughs sheepishly. Like this. It went a little something like this. <laughs> and that's how you laugh sheepishly. That was a shitty joke. Don't laugh at that. <laughs> I can laugh at it though because I have to pity laugh myself. The plan you and Daisuke made was a success. You feel the relationship has grown stronger. Rank 7. <laughs> Too bad we lost. Dude, shut up. Sometimes you gotta lose a battle to win the war, or however the hell that goes. <laughs> yeah, except we didn't win anything. See ya. You talked with Cohen Daisuke and went home after saying goodbye. <laughs> a goodbye. A bye bye. I'll see you later. You can work as a tutor today, and that is exactly what I'll do. <laughs> you helped Shu study. You thoroughly explained the materials. You feel that your relationship is going to become closer soon. You got 10,000 bucks. Today is the 11th, and it is a Sunday, so we are going to hang out with Hisano. And we can't buy anything from the shopping program because the fog is outside, and Tanaka doesn't want to sell me jack shit. Oh, Hisano. You know, you'd expect the old lady to not be out during the fog, but I guess she's so fucking crazy that she's just enjoying it. 
Oh, you, Chan. For some reason, Hasano seems surprised. You feel a relationship with Hasano is going to become closer soon. Yes. Yes, I would like to talk. You frightened me there. I thought you were my husband. Watching the river here with you, like this, brings back memories. Of what? <laughs> Of when I was still young, before I came this, before I became this wrinkly old lady, back when I was very tight. <laughs> Starts getting into details. Like, all right. I met my husband here in this town. I was born and raised here, and he was part of the traveling company of actors. He was an actor. Jesus. They come to town once a year. When I was small, my family took me to see the play. That's when I met my husband, who was a child actor. He had clear, pale skin, and he spoke- What? He had clear, pale skin. Okay, yeah, sure, I, I guess. Yeah, that makes sense, like, alright, complexion clear, color pale, pasty white. <laughs> Back in my day, we didn't have these fancy personas. We had to talk to the demons to make friends. Back in my day, I knew this boy, he would make fucking car noises at slimes. And then the pixies be like, don't fuse me with no fucking nerd. Ah, <laughs> uh, good old Persona 2 and your dumb fucking negotiation shit. <laughs> Tetsuya imitated a motorcycle. Like, what? How? How'd you do that? And you got fucking, what's his name? Ikaji. Fucking Troy Baker. Every time you want to fight, he's like, you ain't worth my time. I love Persona 2. <laughs> vroom vroom. Alright, where the fuck was I? He had clear pale skin and he spoke completely different from the other children. He was my first love. Every year he would come and every year I would watch. That's a really weird way to say that, Grandma, but okay. I gathered all the courage and I had I had and talked to him. By some miracle, he fell in love with me too. We would just talk behind the stage. One date every year. <laughs> I thought he was just flirting with me, but I thought that was okay. But do you know what he did? He quit the company and said he would live here and marry me. What a fucking fool that guy was. No offense, Hasana. No offense. But I bet he was making a lot of money. He did field work, though. He didn't know how. He would come home and show me his blisters. He was so proud. I was happy back then. I'm jealous. Okay. I'm sure the day will come where you'll be happy. You could cry out of happiness. No, there are many people who are in the midst of happiness. They just don't realize it. If you don't know what you should hold dear, then your life is just a journey without a destination. Right now, all I want to do is be by his side. But I know I never will. You went to heaven, and I will surely go to hell. Damn! <laughs> Yeah. You okay, Grandma? Oh, don't torture yourself. What's going on? Thank you. Oh, you're so kind. That I am. I am a kind guy. Hashtag humblebrag. Hashtag I'm a basic bitch. <laughs> you feel that? You understand Hasano a little bit more. You know what I'm not over about Persona 2 that still pisses me off to this day? The fact that the character's name is fucking Ooh La La. I hate that shit so much. I must be going now. It gets cold here down by the river. I'll see you later, you John. Goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye, Hasano. Don't die on me. Alright. Hung out with Hasano, then I went to the fortune place. Fortune place, the Journal of Fortune. That's where we're going. There's no way I'm gonna have time to do all this shit. Alright, draw the fortune. In my notes here it says I drew a fortune for I. So I'm gonna do that. Fortunes are random, so. May not come out how I want. Great blessing, please. Small blessing. Fuck! Oh, it could become, be strong. could become stronger soon, so that's good. Time's passed, and then you went home because it was late at night, and you were tired, and you went to sleep. 
Yo. Hey, senpai. I haven't seen you in the morning for a while. How, Kanji? We go to the same school. How? Still, with the real bad guys being a cop on the case, it really surprised me, man. But now, there's nothing for us to wait for. We just have to go kick his ass. Let me sh let me show that sucker, senpai. Just you wait, Tachi. He'll learn what it means to deal with us the hard way. The kanji way. Oh, shit. <laughs> I'm gonna dropkick him across the room. All right, today, who the fuck did I hang out? Naoki. I'm gonna go hang out with Naoki today. Oh my god. I just wish that this part of the game wasn't like... I just wish that it wasn't like, hey man, fucking... Don't go... Don't go kick a Dachi's ass yet, because if you do, you'll lose all this precious time to build your social links and shit. And that's kind of, that's kind of annoying. <laughs> like, who thought that was a good idea? Why just take my time away? Naoki. Oh, Naoki's cool. Hi. Happened to you too, exactly. That's the only reason why I'm not attack, uh, beating a Dachi's ass right now. <clears throat> Naoki seems to have some free time. Since you have, I have to ask, Sonic King, you're, you're not new here, right? I don't think you're new here. No, you're not new here. You've been here before, yeah? I think you've been. I think I remember you. I hope I'm not mistaken. <laughs> Spend time with Naoki. Yes. Yes. Naoki looks like he came straight out of fucking Kolioko. <laughs> you're new here. You're not new here, Squish. Stop lying to me. <laughs> You've been you've been here for like the past three streams, liar. Yeah, you've been here before. You were you were you here for the Sonic 06 stuff? Was that what you were here for? Cause that was a while ago. <laughs> that was a while ago. <laughs> oh man. That that shadow that shadow story took all the energy out of me. I have something that I want to ask you. Is it a question? Is it for my hand in marriage? Central Shopping District, Chinese Diner, Aya. Here during the pre previous Persona 4 stream. Trying to remember. Did, um... No, I'm thinking of someone else. Thinking of someone else. I think I'm thinking of someone else, right? Someone was here, and then I asked them something about Bleach. Was that you? I think that was you. Maybe. I, I'm not sure. I might be getting, might be getting confuzzled, confused. But thanks for showing back again. I appreciate it. Showing back again? Does that make sense? Is that the way you? Is that how you word words? Is that how you put them in a sentence? Would, would your sixth grade teacher whip you for not making a correct sentence? <laughs> hey, so that thing I wanted to tell you was, I'm thinking about quitting school. I might take over the liquor shop. Hey, he's a cool guy. He's the cool kid. He's the kid you get liquor from. <laughs> don't don't drink underage. I have to say that legally. And I mean it. Winky winky. I really wasn't interested in our family's business. Honestly, I'm still not, but... When that woman told me that our family should unite, I knew she had a point. Hmm, I don't know about that. Hmm... What can I do to satisfy the satisfies the ugh, satisfies? Why am I saying it like that? What can I do to satisfy satisfy those neighbors? Now he's biting his lip. Up until now, I never even thought about taking over the liquor store. It's hard for me to say it to you, but as long as Junis is there, I know our shop has no future. It's not like it's a store with a long tradition, so I thought it'd end with Dad's generation when he retired. But now I don't. Now I think I don't have any other choice. I have to do it. Hmm. You should think it over now, okay? <sighs> Why did Sis die? Hmm. I don't mean how she died. I don't want to know what, what killed her. But why did she have to die? 
inadvertently dragging me and my parents down with her. Why did everything end up this way? I totally just realized I was not looking at my notes. I was just choosing whatever answer I wanted. <laughs> you were able to support him. Those were not the answers I chose last time. I, I don't know why. I don't know why I didn't look at my notes. But fuck it. I'll talk with my parents. I think they'll be happy about it. <laughs> then I'll be pro pro a productive member of society and live an admirable... Ad de 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 live an admirable life. Jesus, fuck. I'll see you again. I'm losing my mind here. Every time I see Naoki, just the theme song for Kolioko plays in my mind. <laughs> Here we are, going far to save all that we love. If we get all we got, we can make it through. That's a good song. I like it. Kolioko wasn't that good, but that song is good. It's a good song. It's catchy. That's all it needs to be. All right, get a blessing for I. I used to have the fucking Kolioko game for PS2. <laughs> it was not good, but I had it and I played it. I think I might still have it, honestly. <laughs> mild blessing. You're a mild blessing, bitch. Mild blessing. Today, we are gonna hang out with Yumi. Oh my god, I'm just looking at the list and it's like... It seems long, but it really isn't. <laughs> I'm getting kind of used to this thick fog now. I'm not worried about not being able to see anymore. I felt so relieved once I realized that only those right next to me can even see me. I used to freak out thinking that a teacher would see me in a town and they stop and yell at me. Why would they yell at you for being in town? But thanks to this fog, none of my teachers would know would would know me even if okay would know me even if I was five feet away. I'm sorry, I, I thought that was weird really for a moment. You're right. I feel kind of relieved because of the fog too. Some people get ill from it, but I'm all right so far. Plus, I'm kind of excited that it might be the end of the world. We might actually get to see it. Why the fuck would you want? I don't want to see the end of the world. <laughs> That's scary, man. I know. What's going to happen at the end of the world, I wonder? <laughs> it's like that variety show that plays at midnight. Nobody knows what's going to happen. Recently, the shows has just been kind of weird, but at least it's entertaining. P3 moment? Yeah, but I don't think any- Oh shit, you know what? Yes, I forgot. Strega started that cult. <laughs> that death cult. Oh shit, I forgot about that part, yeah. The end of the world. Some Om Shan Rikyo type shit going on right now. It's like it's like finding random shows that don't show up on the programming guide. It's like when you're a kid and you're just flipping through cable back when people use that, and then you would get a fuzzy ass channel. You'll be like, is that is that a booby? And then you would keep it on, and then your fucking parents would be like, Yo, why the fuck am I hearing so much white noise from the TV? What are you watching? And then you fumble around with the remote. And you're like, nothing. <laughs> I'm watching nothing. Hey. Okay. Rejoice, Yumi. Now that it's gonna be the end of the world, I get to hang out with you again. Cause I've been ignoring your ass all year. Expression has increased. Okay, what are we doing? Just doing fundamentals all the time get boring, so let's try doing some real performances. I'm watching the Midnight Channel. You wanna know what the Midnight Channel used to be? Remember when Mancers was around? Spike TV? <laughs> Mancers, the dumbest fucking show ever. Well, we'll hold an audition. Everyone will, eh. Everyone remember the line about, remember the line I'm about to say. After the audition, we'll decide our roles and finish it off with a five-minute skit. <laughs> I want to awaken. Got it? Now pay attention. What crazes me is not the light of the moon, nor the golden sea, but merely the trickle of your tears. You all got that? Well, I'm not going to repeat it. Alright, start with you. 
Come on up here in front of everybody and show your ass out. Alright, let's Don't worry. go for it. Believe in yourselves. Alright, Naruto, I got this. <sighs> what crazes me is not. Ew. The light of the moon. The dark side of the moon. Did it with a lot of emotions. Okay, next person. Mitan, you wanna try? You already know that you're gonna be the main character, then why the fuck are we auditioning? Why are we doing it? I'll do it. I'm confident that I can remember. What crazes me? Yumi appears to be a completely different person as she recites. It's not the light of the moon, nor the golden sea. But merely the trickle of your tears. Yumi's own eyes are full of tears. She has become the character. That was amazing. She's always so good, it's scary. If anyone thinks they can do a better job than me, come on up. Step up, bitch. Yumi, don't say it like that. <laughs> if only standing around flirting made you a better actor, huh? What? Damn! Hey, come on, we all remember the lines, so we might as well do it, right? What What just happened to my remote? Aw, oh, fuck. My remote got unplugged for a second. I think watching others act is a good experience too, don't you think, Yumi? You're right. Go ahead. Bitch. <laughs> She's so passive-aggressive. Okay. We've... It, we've... Ugh, fuck, I hate this word. We unanimously decided that Yumi will be... <laughs> that word is not pronounced the way it's spelled. I hate it. Unanimously. It's pronounced unanimously. Decided that Yumi will be the protagonist. And she'll be opposite. You. I mean, it's either you or me, and, and what I really rather do is direct. You must play Yumi's husband in a short skit. Do you have your lines memorized? Are you ready to go? <laughs> Don't be so tense. It's just practice. But I do want us to take it seriously, so give it a shot, okay? I'll give it to my all. Okay. Well, I'll lead you through it. I think it's fun, isn't it? Eh, maybe. Sometimes you feel like an asshole. <laughs> when you're acting, it's like you get to take on the life of another person. Not just yourself, not some Yumi Ozawa, but another life to live. Oh my god, Yumi, you sound like one of those fucking annoying ass drama kids. I don't need lights. I don't need costumes. All I need is a role to play. All I need is to not be me. Oh, sorry. If I keep telling... If I keep telling? Wow, that's not even what it says there. If I keep talking, you'll end up forgetting your own lines, huh? <laughs> Let's give it a whirl, darling. Did you guys ever had those fucking people in school that would just break out into song because they were like, oh, I need to practice my vocal cords. Feel that your relationship with Yumi has deepened a little. And you're like, man, that's cool. Why don't you do that at home and annoy your annoy your family over there and not in school? Where I'm trying to fucking pay attention. Alright, cool. There's like a handful of people I went to school with that would just constantly be like, be like, I have to practice for the play. And then I'm gonna go to Broadway. Alright, wanna add lib a kiss? With Yumi's help, you're able to complete the skit to the applause of the entire drama club. Hey! Yumi seems very happy. You went home. You can work as a tutor today. Is that what I did last time? Yes, it is. It is what I did last time. A fucking cat's getting in my way. God damn it. Work as a tutor. I'm not even gonna have fucking time to do the dungeon today. That's that's what's really sad. Literally today's stream was nothing but pure story. You tutored Chu. 
Can you teach me this? I don't know, can I? It comes after the word have, so I should be using the past part. Wait, what? Part partis. Why am I having a hard time with that word? What the hell? The past participle? That's not even a fucking word. I don't even know. <clears throat> I feel stupid now. <laughs> I feel dumb. <laughs> I know that I know that word, but for some reason I just don't know at this moment. <laughs> you begin to explain the sentence to him in an easily understood manner. Your expression has increased. In English... Oh, uh, well, in English. Is English all about memorization, too? Math is just remembering the right formulas and applying them. Chemistry is just remembering chemical equations. The tests are just there to see if you can remember them and to penalize you if you forget. Yeah, I always hated school. <laughs> I just never got it. It's like, it's like, what's the point? Like, if you want us to go out into the working force as soon as possible, what's the point of holding people back? If they don't want to put work in, then fine, whatever. Mister. Is there any bullies at your school? No, not really. I don't I don't think there is. No. Hmm. I guess I expect that from people in high school. You're more mature. That's something that I realized in high school too. It's like once you went to high school, no one really fucking cared anymore. <laughs> it's not like they're punching him or hiding things from him or anything. They're not stealing his money. It's just that he he doesn't have a place there. Maybe that's not the same thing as bullying. Hmm. Well then, leave it to me, I'll kick their asses. Sensei? Oh, uh, thank you. She looks happier. Um... Oh, uh, it's not about me. It's about the transfer student. The one I was talking about before. Not me, you got it? Not me. It's not me. You may think it's me, and anything I say to make you think to believe that it's me is completely false because it is not me. You understand that? <laughs> it seems that I've been talking to you about things that really aren't relevant to my studies. Eh, I don't mind. He told you that, told you that talking about his school didn't bother you. Your understanding has increased. Thank you. She's somewhat happy about that. You'll come again, won't you? Maybe. You'll pay me again, right? I feel that like your relationship with you has deepened. You pay me money? Then take care. Thank you very much. Thank you for your money. Thank you. Thank you. I love money. I wake up every morning and I kiss it. Hello. Good morning, senpai. We've been running into each other quite a lot, haven't we? I mean, we should. We're dating, right? Do you remember what Adachi said? Inaba will disappear into the fog by the end of the year, which is a complete fucking lie. Nobody has been kidnapped, but we still need to be cautious of our time limit now. It's important to be ready for what lies ahead, but we should hurry. You're right. If Adachi was telling the truth, then the lives of all mankind are at stake. This is no longer at the level of any other murder investigation. We have to make sure we stop him, no matter what. Who are we hanging out with today? Hey, I. How's it going? Oh, it's you. You're not busy today, are you? Hang out with me. Damn, girl. Maybe I will. Do I hang out with you today? It's the 14th. Let me see. The answer is yes. Alright then. I'll see you later. You decide to spend the afternoon with I. Damn girl, I hate to see you leave, but I love watching you walk away. The classroom is in an uproar. Hey, did you hear? The fog made someone faint. Oh yeah, I heard it was someone from 3-3. But we don't know what really caused it, right? No point in panicking. I worry more about getting a gas mask. If you don't, you could be next. Hey, be quiet everyone. Class is still in session, no talking. The uproar continues.
Yeah, man, I heard if you take a needle in your arm and you get vaccinated like you did when you were a child and your parents went to take you vaccinated, that that you stick a quarter to your arm and you're suddenly Magneto. Totally. It's real. It's totally real, man. I saw a guy on the internet do it. <laughs> Throw some shade out there. Okina City in front of Okina Station. You came here because I insisted. And you just can't say no to her because that booty just too fine. Hmm. I don't really feel like buying stuff today. What should we do instead? I don't know. You just Netflix and chill. Do people even Hi. say Netflix and chill anymore? I don't think they do. What? You mean don't have any kind of plans? Sounds boring. Oh well, maybe you'll be able to make it interesting. You know, it's pretty funny. If I didn't sign up to manage your team, you wouldn't be here with me right now. Looking at it from your perspective, I say you got pretty lucky. You know what? I appreciate it. Do I appreciate it? I appreciate it. <laughs> I guess you should be thanking me. Yes, ma'am. It was your advisor who put me on your team. He said something like, I being on the team should teach you something about putting someone besides yourself first. I don't understand people who play sports in the slightest. But I guess it wouldn't kill me to go cheer on you every once in a while. I smiles with self-importance for some reason. It seems she's begun to like you a little. Just a little bit. Just a tiny smidgen. Just a little, a little schmeckle. Ayabihara has reached level 3. Hey, um, hi, son. Oh, I was meeting here like this. It, it, mu it must be fate, right? So, uh, you wanna, you wanna, like, you wanna go out with me sometime? <laughs> you kidding me? Have you looked in the mirror recently? Oof. Damn. I rejected him without a second thought. Or looks everything? Well, a guy has to look at least on par with me before I consider him. That, and he has to click with me, I guess. Besides, I'm not interested in dating anyone right now. I feel like what I just said wasn't even English. I feel like I just mumbled half those words. I think I might have just uh. had a stroke, maybe. I'm bushed. Let's go home. You returned to Inaba with I and went home. You can work as a janitor tonight, and that is exactly what we will do. It won't deepen just yet. Jesus, fuck. Sayoko, you're very, very needy. Good work. Can I report? Uh, can you? Uh, fuck. Can you report today's progress? Can I report today's progress? Jesus. How much money do I even have? You have heard students talking again. Jesus, guys. I saw it on the Midnight Channel. Countless black creatures crawl out of the fog and infest the town. The town gets overrun by them and the people who inhaled the fog turn into them too. And the last person that, ap that appeared looked just like me. What should I do? I don't feel good. <laughs> Mr. Stark, I don't feel too good. People turning into monsters? That sounds Awesome! It's like some kind of anime. It's just like one of my Japanese animes. I wonder how it feels to turn into a monster. Wow, I feel like this guy has a bunch of weird sexual kinks that I do not want to know about. Huh? How it feels? Well, I guess if everyone was turned into a monster, that'd be okay. If everything became a creature, why would I worry about becoming... What? If everyone became a creature, why would I worry about becoming one? <laughs> It'll just be like we're evolving into another species. 
Oh god. That sounds so weird. <laughs> he said, yeah, if I just mighty morphed myself into a fucking... <laughs> to a creature, why would it matter? How about you? Spend the day with I? Why not? I, you know I can't say no to you. So goddamn beautiful. Today's what, the 15th? Yes, the 15th. That's got me high shoe lockers. I told you she would be right back. Yo! Hey you, what you doing? Our class had a presentation today, so we were at the auditorium. Oh yeah, you guys are both on the basketball team, right? Hey, isn't I Abihara your manager? Seriously? Damn, now I'm jealous. <laughs> it's not like she comes to practice. Hey, probably because she's always on the prowl for guys. Yeah, heard she's pretty loose. And doesn't she look like she got a sugar daddy or two? Yeah, she's stacking the paper. I don't think I I don't think I like I don't think I like my fucking video games telling me someone is stacking paper. It doesn't feel right. Yeah, she's stacking paper. Ugh, it doesn't feel right. I wonder how much she gets paid. Damn, dude, don't hold back or anything. You think it's cheaper to market out here than in the boonies? I don't know, man. This is premium grade high school tail we're talking about. And with a body like that? Damn! Seriously, just look at her hips. Conversation is getting more and more vulgar. Guys, cut this shit out! Come on! It's a time and a place for everything. Not now. Seems Ko was also offended. <sighs> cut the crap, guys. You don't even know if that stuff's true. All right, all right. Ah, oh, shit. I'm gonna be late for the meeting. <laughs> These simp-ass motherfuckers. Sorry. I think I just ran into a bunch of Pokemane subscribers. Yep, I went there. Sorry, you. I know you and... Do people still do those fucking hot tub streams? Is that still a thing? Or is that done? Are we done with that? Please tell me we're done with that. Sorry, you. I know you and I sounded pretty close, right? But those guys aren't usually that bad. Don't hold it against them, all right? See ya. See ya. Don't compare us to those, <laughs> to these losers. Oh no, Sonic King, no, please. You're not, no. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Jeez, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> I'm gonna be like, listen. I don't ban people, but I might, I might need to, might need to just take the mouse. Did you hear them, I? They were practically yelling. It's not like that kind of stuff really bothers me. I expect it. They don't even know me. Why should I care what they think? I'm fine, but thanks. Listen. Those guys are a bunch of simps, but listen. Fucking eyes got it going on. God damn! <laughs> I think eyes cute. I like eyes. She's cool too. You're gonna walk with me. I am gonna walk with you. Goodbye! You walked eye to her house and went home. You can work as a tutor today. You can work as a janitor. What will we do? Today is what, the 15th? So I went and worked at the hospital, so I'm gonna do that. Man, speaking about Pokemon and all those fucking people, is Bella Delphine still like a thing too? Or did she go the way of Ray William Johnson and just disappeared into the ether? In a municipal hospital, empty hospital room. You're cleaning busily because you're a busybody and you're awesome. Oh 
<laughs> what's up bella delph what's up bell delphine uh she's uh i think she might have been the first person that made like the whole ahego uh, fucking thing like go viral she's like a fucking e-girl or something like that and she just does like the ahego uh, faces that's all i really know Oh, no, I also know some, she's the girl that sold that gamer girl bathwater shit. <laughs> and that's all I know about her. But I just remember people were, like, going crazy over her, and then I guess she just kind of disappeared off the face of the earth. Kind of like how Ray William Johnson just disappeared one day, I guess. Hey, you. You can stop cleaning here. You're gonna be needing this room, so can you get all your cleaning supplies out of here? Is it a... Is there an emergency? Yeah, I can't even fucking say her name. U Uwe, Uehara? Uehara? Uehara. I think that's how you say it. Uehara-san? One of the nurses just collapsed. She needs to rest, but the doctors are, are on break and using the lounge, so... She seemed overwork. Uh, don't tell anyone I said that, okay? I'd rather not get hauled in for a review. Here, help me. A nurse laid Sayoko down on the bed and injected her with the syringe. Uh. She didn't have to do that. I was just a little wobbly. Hmm. It's important to rest. What if there's no time to rest? There's always work waiting for me. I'm lucky they didn't tie me down with an IV. I'm alright now. I'll be going. Seems like Echo is still set on continuing to work. What should you do? Physician, heal thyself. Get your ass back in that bed. Huh? Shut up. Oh. I failed. I mean, I might be able to save someone's life. I need to do what I can. I can't spend time worrying about myself. Otherwise, I'd never be able to face him again. Mm -mm. Is that what he wants? Of course he would! Wouldn't he? Oh. I see. I... I was doing it for myself. I wanted to escape the pain. I was working hard to avoid feeling anything at all. I see that now. <laughs> I'm so stupid. Sayoko seems to be holding back tears. I get it. Yeah, I get it. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. You're quite welcome. Sayoko tries to smile. You feel that you were able to give Sayoko some support. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Just a smidget. Just a tiny bit of support. Just a little bit. I'm gonna rest for a little while longer. You can go now. Don't look at me. You left Sayoko and went home. You're in 8,000 bucks. That's cool. That's cool. Earn some money. A little cash, eh? Good morning. Morning, Rize. So, this is gonna be the final battle. Finally, huh? It's gonna be finally the final battle, yes, most likely. I've been thinking about what I made uh, when I made the decision to come here. I came here thinking that I could find myself in a peace, uh, what, in the peace and quiet of a little country town. But I have no regrets. I'm glad I met you. Me too. Can't lose to that Adachi. Let's beat him and bring him to justice. I'll do my best to help you until the very end. Let's win and give Nanako-chan something to smile about. Ba, 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 da, da. Am I hanging out with I today? Yeah, I'm hanging out with I today. That's in my notes. Hanging out with I today. Damn, girl, he's just all over the place. Really? Then I'll see you later. Classroom's in an uproar yet again. Did you already put a gas mask? Wait, what? Oh, did you already put a gas mask? Did you already buy a gas mask? How much was it? I don't know. My parents bought it for me. Whatever. I feel safe now. Check it out. 
I heard that if you catch colds easily, then you got a higher chance of getting sick from the fog. Wow, I never guessed that if you were a sickly person, you'd be a higher risk for being sickly. Seriously? Oh my god, I'm totally like that. Shut up, no talking. You're still in class. The city knows to, the city knows to get covered. Wow. I'm sorry, let me, let me try reading that again. The city is known to get covered in fog every 50 years. Don't worry about it. Every 50 years? What? What the fuck are you talking about? That's... That's not normal. <laughs> that's what the TV said anyways. So let's get down to business, can we? Because I believe everything on the TV. I literally know people like that. That will pull me aside and be like, yeah, but if you do this, you know, then blah blah blah. Because this guy on the fucking internet or TV said so. And I'm like, yeah. That guy also tells you to watch like a bunch of their other videos because they're getting paid for that shit. <laughs> Fog hasn't filled up the area. Y you know. Yes. Thanks. Thank you for last time. Aww. I didn't do much. No, you did. I was embarrassed. I, uh... I'm in a weird mood. Every time I think about what happened, I can feel my heart beat faster. And I hardly sleep at night. What should I do? I... I think... What should I do? I think I'm in love. It's funny, isn't it? Like, why now? Like, wow. <laughs> just Owen Wilson, just fucking, wow, wow, I think I'm in love, wow. I just keep thinking back on that day. It's Kolkun. That goober? Don't you know, do you know if he has a girlfriend? Do you think maybe I'm his type? Or do you think he hates people like me? I have a little confidence. You're right. I nod seriously. I'm not used to things like this. You're the only one I can turn to. I was looking at you with pleading eyes. You feel your relationship with eyes deepen as she reveals her a side of her you've never seen before. Come on, please. You'll help me, right? All I need you to do is ask him what his type is. That's it. No problem. Got your back. <laughs> I got your back, girl. Hmm. You don't have to do it today or anything, but please. Thank you. He parted ways with eyes in silence and went home. I can't tell if my dog is whining or if he's just making noises in his sleep. I think he's just making noises in his sleep. Alright. What did I do that night? I went to the hospital again. So we're gonna do that. Step over here. Hi, Yumi. I'm totally not gonna hang out with you. Is the Sun Arcana the worst one in P4? I think it is. It might be. I don't like either of the characters. <laughs> On the 17th, I hung out with Ko and Shu. Alright, listen, I'm not gonna fucking read this shit all the time now because it's starting to get on my nerves. <laughs> Every fucking morning, people talking about some dumb shit. Aeon? Oh, she's done. She's totally done. I've been a bit depressed because I can't see the I can't see the winter sky, but a foggy sky isn't as bad as I thought it'd be. Besides, sometimes it's nice when visibility is horrible. You don't have to make eye contact with anyone. Ain't that the fucking truth? You know, I think I'm starting to like foggy weather. Oh yeah, we should get on with the lecture. 
we'll work on proverbs today. Sado-chan, do you know do you know the intent behind the phrase compassion is not for the good of others? Huh? What? I wasn't listening. You help. Uh compassion is Compassion is to make yourself look better. Correct, Sarajan. Or rather, Narakami-chan, for taking compassion on her. So, what does that mean? How does compassion benefit yourself? Because it makes you look good. It's because when you show compassion to others, they will show compassion to you in turn. So you can be kind to everyone. People often think that compassion is weakness or a crutch, but that's not true. I guess he knew I was talking... I was talking. I guess you knew I was asking you. Thanks, you. She appreciates you. You're damn right she does. Yeah, but I think I think I finished Marie's social link. I'm pretty sure I did. Did I not? Oh my god, I may have not. No, I did. I totally did. I'm not crazy. You're crazy. You're crazy. How dare you? How dare you give me a scare like that? find out that this deep into the fucking playthrough I've been ignoring Maria. That would be scary as fuck. Yo. Hey, you. Mm, you look like you got something you want to ask me. What's my type? Uh, what's that all about, anyways? Put me on the spot here. Uh, well, a nice girl. Huh. <laughs> Alright. Yo. That happened to you? Oh, shit, that's sad. That happened to me with, um... That happened to me with Adachi. Forgot Marie completely. I mean, that's easy to do, to be honest. That's easy to do until you walk into the fucking into the shopping district and she's just sitting there <laughs> with her arms crossed, and you're like, "Oh fuck, Marie! Damn it!" And you talk to her, and she goes, "You're late." <laughs> I'm like, "Fuck you." Hung out with Ko for the day, and then I hung out with Shu. This is the only time I ever had to follow notes for this fucking playthrough. Jesus fuck, man. But you don't get the poems if you never start the link. Do you even need to view the poems? I don't think you do. I think you just need to hang out with her, really. Let's see. You two to chew. Like this? I need to make this sentence have the same meaning as the one in the example here. Mm. He's good at sucking peen. <laughs> Mister. People who grow up speaking a different language end up thinking in their native tongues, right? That's funny. Chew shrugs. Chew, don't talk to me about language, because then I'm going to get lost in my own thoughts. I'm gonna sit there, I'm gonna look at a spoon, and I'm gonna be like, who was the jackass who looked at this thing and said, I shall call it a spoon. And then you say spoon a bunch of times, and then the word loses meaning to you. And then you have a stroke, and then you go to the hospital. There's gonna be a fa there's gonna be a fair ser oh god, what the fuck? There's going to be a fair commemorating the anniversary of my school's founding. So there was a discussion about what our class was gonna do, and all the girls were being noisy. No noisy? Nosy? Nosy? Noisy? I don't know. Were they a pain in the ass? A major one. They're all stupid. Oh. Oh, you're one of those kids. <laughs> That's not true. You never had to be around them. She looks disgusted. Ew, girls. They're dumb. They have cooties. <laughs> is this dude psyche? Oh, you mean, um... You mean, uh, Dexterous Life of Psyche? That one? You wanna know something funny? And I think it's... I think it's because... Because, alright. Listen. I don't know how to explain this without sounding like an asshole. Fucking... When I stream... I don't... I don't fake it or anything. This is actually how I am, but to everyone else I know in my life, 
I have been compared to Psyche multiple times because I just don't care. <laughs> you know? And then I fucking, I, I remember like, it was like a week ago or whatever, my niece was visiting me and I was like, and I was like, hey man, why does everybody keep telling me I act like Psyche? I don't think I do. She's like, you really do though. I'm like, what do you mean? She's like, you just don't, you just don't. That's it. I'm like, I'm sorry. <laughs> right? I don't know. I compare it to Psyche a lot. I also had someone told me that I sound like Psyche, and I was like, I don't, I don't think that's true. I don't think I sound like Psyche at all. School's like that all wait, what? School's like that all day. And when I get home, mom is all over me. You're so excellent. You can be number one. Mom's so proud of you. You're my pride and joy. But I'm... She looks worried. Um... You don't only come here because you're being paid to, right? That's not it. But that's actually it. But that's not it. Uh. Well, I don't need to know why you keep coming back. I keep coming back because I keep getting food. Free food is cool. Up till now, all I ever did was go back and forth from home to school. Oh, wait until you grow up, Shu. That's all you're gonna do, back and forth from work to home. I look forward and when you come I look forward to when you come to tutor me. It seems that Shu is opening up to you. You feel that your relationship with Shu has deepened. Oh my gosh, shoes at six? Holy shit, I just realized that. I've been hanging out with you, you that much? Me a little more? Well, there's something I don't I don't really understand. Can you tutor me a little bit longer? Please come back again. Maybe. You have the day off from school today. You wonder if this world will truly be swallowed up by the fog from the TV world. You realize that even if it isn't true, you still need to defeat. I uh, still need to defeat what I. I'm sorry. What? <laughs> you still need to defeat the threat at all costs. My mind just auto completed it, and it's like you need to defeat the treat. I'm like the what? All right. Today, what did we do on the 18th? I hung out with Hasano because it is a Sunday. And there's two things that I know about Sundays. One is you go to church if you're religious, and the other one is you hang out with old people because they do nothing on Sundays. They expect company on Sundays. It's the day of the Lord. My. Hi, Hasano. You're cool. Do my Listen, clothes smell of dear. Do my clothes smell of incest? And not incest, uh incense? <laughs> incest? Why why did I even say that? I didn't even say incest. I said incest. That's not even a fucking word. <laughs> my husband Suki uh Suki fuck. Suki Minichi? Mi Minichi? Hmm. Suki Michi? Something like that. It's today, and I just come back from visiting his grave. Suki Michi. I don't even know what the fuck that is, man. No. I know the ceremony is right over there. I don't have to walk very far. Okay. Do you know what death is? Do you want to know what death feels like? Death is the is the entity that takes people to the gods. For those trying to reach the gods and to the families of those people, death can be an ally. Eh, that may be true. That is why I am death. When a person dies, the people who are left behind start to grieve, right? Why did the person have to die? That's the question everyone wants to know the answer to. How is it right that this life had to come to an end? The person did nothing wrong, and yet... We want to think that they went to the gods. 
They've been summoned to heaven, and there's nothing we can do about it. We try to convince ourselves that. Sometimes we look forward to death, taking them up to the gods. You don't quite understand it yet, do you? I think I do. You're such a good child. That I am. I am a great child. I am the greatest child that has ever lived. Rank 4. I looked forward to death too much and became death myself. Before I realized it, I... I'm sorry. Your fusion fail. <laughs> I'm sorry. You don't want to hear this, do you? Go home now. You be careful, too. I'll see you again. Oh my god, this fucking computer chair. I fucking hate it. <laughs> you sit in it after two hours and you just want to die. Alright, let me save that. I'm on the 18th. That means we have six more days left. Tonight, I went and got a fortune for Naoki. You're resetting. Man, uh... So, I, I talked earlier in the playthrough how, like, I'm doing separate playthroughs in the background. Excuse me. That was like a burp. It came out of nowhere. Um, I was doing separate playthroughs in the background. One playthrough was me... Well, I did a separate playthrough so I can have all the social links mapped out so I can show the ending of the game and stuff like that. And then, um... I did it, you know, without a guide. And I was like, okay, well now I got some time before we actually reach the end of the game. So I'm going to try to do it again with a guide so that not only we can have the, like all the social links maxed out, but we can also see all the, you know, final forms of the personas. So I started doing that today, <laughs> right? And on top of that, fucking, I was like, I also got to fill out the compendium because I want to show all the personas off, like in the compendium. And nothing sucks more than fucking just spending millions and millions of dollars and just fucking seeing Igor just look at you like a fucking Yo! idiot and go, oops, I dropped the cards. It's like, Igor, I'm broke, bitch. Cut it out. Today's already the 19th. Year's almost over. Feels like it's been a long time, but so short at the same time, you know? You know... The way people in town have been acting lately is no joke anymore. By the way, when I was uh, doing the guided playthrough for getting the social links, I started it today around like 11 o'clock or whatever. Well, not today anymore. It was yesterday. I started yesterday around like 11 o'clock and I ended at like 6 o'clock. And I already, I'm already like, <laughs> I'm already caught up to where we're at right now. So I just got that in my back pocket. <laughs> we got to get the bastard of Donchi no matter what. I have a feeling that the town will go back to normal when we do. Let's make sure we win this. It makes me really think how short Persona 4 really is when you just start skipping a bunch of shit. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I'll be counting on you too, GA. You failed it twice? Jesus. Jesus, you failed it twice. That sucks. Classroom is in an uproar. Hey, did you hear about the student rep from class next to ours? Really? The student rep do that? Either way, that's crazy. For real. Student, shut the fuck up. Great. Before it gets louder. It is the 19th. Who are we hanging out with? We're hanging out with Yumi. Oh, shit. Hey, Yumi. Hang out with me. Hanging out with Yumi, and then we're grabbing another fortune for Naoki. Hey! Oh yeah, Yukun. Have you heard that the drama club's gonna be in school? In the school? What? Con con concourse. Con fuck, I'm sorry. I'm gonna have to leave roll this year. Can you help me with the part later? Yumi, your mother collapsed. <gasps> me, Mama. There was a call from the hospital. Huh? Huh? Oh, oh, what should I do? 
Get the fuck out of here. Oh. I'm going. And we ran out the room. The hospital? I wonder what happened. I think we're all too worried to get... Hey guys, I think we're all too worried and lazy to do any work here. So let's just call it a day, okay? Yeah, perfect excuse. Hey boss, I can't come to work today. Why? Uh, a family died. <laughs> hey, what's going on? What is he doing here? Why are you here with him? You didn't collapse. You lied to me. I can't believe this. Tell me what's going on. Yumi. He's the one who collapsed, not me. But I knew you wouldn't come if I told you that. So yes, I did lie to you. I wanted you to see him. Mom, do you think I want anything to do with that man? No. I know you're suffering a lot. I feel responsible for what happened too. But, you see, it was his last request. He doesn't have much longer. That's why he wanted to see you. So what? I don't care if he lives or dies. He's a complete stranger. He's not my father. You're not my dad. You're not my daddy. Don't talk to me. Mom, you and I, you abandoned us both. And now what? Now that he's on his deathbed, he's expecting us to forgive him? Don't give me that crap. I made up my mind. I'm gonna stay by his side until he passes away. And every day, I'm gonna walk in there and be like, Yeah, Karma's a bitch, you're dying now. And I'm gonna squeeze his, his oxygen just a little bit, and then I'm gonna... Let him know that I have the that I have his breath in my hands, and I'm gonna let it go. <laughs> Just be real evil with it. Let him die alone would be too cruel to think of. Are you stupid? No, you're not doing this. Sorry, Yumi, but it's what I want to do. Then go ahead. It's not my problem. After all, I've been abandoned before. When did you get here? Are you listening to me? Yeah, I heard. I was snooping. Hmm. You? He's dropping on people's private conversations. You're a real sicko. Yeah, I'm kind of like that. Amy seems at a loss. Mom didn't collapse. When I got to the hospital, it turned out that the person in bed is the man who used to be my father. He abandoned my mother and me about 10 years ago. He found another woman. It's a dirty sleaze bag. And now he comes crawling back to his daughter because he's dying? Yeah, after getting dumped by his bimbo. Talk about shameless. That show sucks anyways. <laughs> <sighs> this sucks so much. I forgot about him after all this time. His name, his face, his very existence. Completely blocked him out. Even worse, Mom's gonna look after him until he kicks the bucket. She's being stupid. How gullible can you get? He left her, understand? Now he's a hand-me-down from the other woman who dumped him when he got sick. They're both pathetic. Yumi's trembling with anger and rage and righteousness. Shut up. What do you know about me? Nothing. Nothing at all. Amy hangs her head. I'm sorry. Well, sorry I don't cut it. You hurt my feelings already. Sorry. I've calmed down. What are you even doing here? <laughs> all this? It must be hilarious to watch, huh? Fucking laughing here. Some small way, you're able to help comfort Yumi. I feel that your relationship with Yumi has deepened slightly. Just a little bit. Just a tiny bit. Just a little, just a little schmeckle. A little schmeckle, honey. I'm going home. Let's walk together. Bye then. You walked home with Yumi? She seemed to be filled with gloom. And I don't just mean the emotion. I mean, like, she opened her pockets and there was a bunch of Pokemon cards and she's a bunch of glooms. She's like my favorite Pokemon.
I'm looking at the... Oh, I gotta get a fortune for no, uh, Naoki. I forgot what I had to do already. To the shrine! Male classmates. Naoki! Great blessing. Hey, great blessing. There you go. Will not become stronger yet. Damn it. Time pass as you tied the um, Omikage. I don't fucking know. I'm not even gonna I'm not even gonna try. I'm done trying. Today's the 20th, we hang out with Ko and Shu again. I'm I'm done reading this fucking shit every morning. I'm done with it. Hi, Yumi. Bye, Yumi. Don't get mad at me. Who's that? Hey, it's Ko! Just the guy I'm looking for. Hang out with me, Ko. You're a cool guy. Let's be two cool dudes together. Oh shit, where's Ko? Uh-huh. Yo, you. I don't see Ko, but you got practice today, right? <laughs> That's got me high. Hey, you. I'm about to, uh... I'm gonna head out to the orphanage. I just wanted you to know. Later. You watch Ko leave, then practice with the rest of the team. Diligence has increased. Yo! Yo! Hey, where's Ko? He told Daisuke that Ko went to the orphanage. Today? Hmm. Kinda worried. Let's catch up to him. Uh huh. Yeah, that's a good idea. Let's call it a day. He decided to meet with Ko at the station with Daisuke. Yasunaba Station Entrance. Fog has enveloped the area. What are you two doing here? You find anything out? No, not yet. Wait, you guys came all the way out here just because you're worried about me? <laughs> Fucking losers. <laughs> Coach just says, there he goes, I don't fuck with lames. <laughs> The orphanage hasn't changed at all. The teachers even remembered who I was, and they were all really nice to me. But they said they can't tell me who my real parents are or why I was left there. No kidding. They did give me this, though. I've been too scared to read it by myself, but it's a letter from the person who left me at the orphanage. I'm gonna read it. Dear Kokun, by the time you read this, you've probably grown into a fine young man. Your parents named you Ko because they hoped that you would always be in good health. They considered health more important than fame or money because it's much harder to keep and maintain. You see, your parents were very frail, and they passed away about a half a year after you were given up for adoption. They always wanted you to know how sorry they were that they couldn't raise you themselves. They loved you very dearly. Ko, you are your parents' ray of hope. No matter how difficult things get, hold your head up high and keep pressing onward. You can't lose hope. Both of them would be undoubtable both of them would undoubtedly say, We will be watching over you. Always. No names, not a single clue. My real parents are dead? <sighs> I was half expecting something like this. But it's still pretty shocking, you know? I have no one. Oh, that's not true. What about me, jackass? <laughs> you think so? I really don't know anymore. Co smiles wryly. That is a terrible word that should never exist. But I'm glad to have found out. 
I'm glad to have this. Thanks, man. Thanks, dude. It seems you were able to support Ko. Just a little bit. Just a tiny bit. Tiny schmeckle. It's gonna get dark soon. Let's head home. The others are worried about you too, you know? All right, let's go home. After seeing Ko off, you parted ways with Daisuke and went home. You can work as tutor today. Is that what I did? Right? I hung out with Shu. We're almost there. We're almost there. <laughs> Ain't no way we're fucking doing that. Ain't no way we're doing that goddamn dungeon today, but at least we can get there. Tutoring. Won't deepen just yet. That's fine by me, because I don't fucking feel like reading anymore. <laughs> On the 21st, I hung out with I and went to the hospital. Yo! Yo, morning. I was wondering why I hadn't been getting... Wait, what? I was wondering why it hasn't been getting lighter. Then I realized that the winter solstice is tomorrow. The longest night of the year. But after that, it'll only get lighter. Everyone's been acting weird and weirder. Even the school seems funky. A bunch of fucking Smash players are in there. <laughs> But if what Odachi says is true, then we'll be saving the whole town when we beat him. It's not much time left by the end of the year. Let's finish this. Sure, Yosuke. Almost there. Just a couple more days. A couple more days. Who are we hanging out with today? It's I. Did you ask? I did ask my I did, I did. Oh shit. I don't want to minimize its magnitude. Um, a catastro- oh god. Catastro- mm, Catastrophe- A catastrophe? Like that has never happened in human history. Does you think it'd be a wonderful experience uh, to be here when it happens? Of course, if the world ends, you must consider the fact- What the fuck? When I make this journey into the world of the afterlife, I would like to sleep beautifully like the Egyptian royals. Alright, you're crazy, teacher. Oh shit. Uh, I don't know, the seventh. As expected, nothing less. That's right, it was Cleopatra the seventh who was counted among the ranks of the world's greatest beauties. Fucking awesome. I did that right off the top of my head. Great. Got your back, Yosuke. I'm smart. I'm a smart guy. Alright, today we hang out with I. Did you ask? Come, come with me. I did ask, I. Sure. I did. That's got me high rooftop. I yanked your arm all the way up here. Mm, so did you ask well. him? What kind of girl he likes? He said nice girls. Nice. He didn't say anything about being cute. Not even like a beautiful woman or anything like that. I looks almost panicked. But every guy wants to be with a beautiful girl, right? It's the good looking girls who find love, isn't it? Forget this. I'm tired of beating around the bush. Just go ask him if he's got a crush on anyone. What are you waiting for? Go! You don't appear to have any choice. Cracking a whip. Yo. Uh, hey, you. Man, I got a piss like a racehorse. Why did you f have the need to tell me that? Ask Ko if he has a crush on anyone. To hey, Ko, speaking about your dick. Uh. <laughs> just out of nowhere. Huh? You want to know who I like? Oh, man, this is awkward. Well, uh. You made one more honest effort to get him to tell you. 
All right, but only telling you this because I trust you, man. Don't tell her. In fact, don't tell anybody. There's Chie. Chie had son, damn it. Are you happy now? And while I'm at it, let me tell you. I'm goddamn jealous that you get to sit next to her in class, you lucky bitch. See you later. I gotta go. I gotta go, and I gotta go, if you know what I mean. Feel the presence of someone watching you. I got a feeling somebody's watching me. Ah, shit. Don't come any closer. Chie? Isn't Chie Satanaka, right? That frumpy girl? I got beat out by that? I'm a hundred times better looking. I has lost her composure. You need to calm her down before it gets any worse. Guys like pretty girls, don't they? I'm pretty now. I had to work hard to become this way. But if I can't be loved, then what the hell is the point? Do it. You won't. <laughs> just straight up. Just like, do it. You won't. Uh. Alright. I'll hear you out. Come on. Come on, get down from there. I... I used to be fat and clumsy. My family was poor and everyone at school bullied me all the time. They used to surround me and say I was gross or they call me names like Piggy Hara. The boy I had a crush on even told me not to look at him because I'd give him my germs. Those awful memories still haunt me in my, in my nightmares. About the time I entered middle school, my family came to their money. Everyone got so jealous of us that we ran away and moved here. I knew this was my chance to start over. It was time to show them all. I dieted, got into shape, and read every fashion or every fashion or woman's magazine I could get my hands on. I studied them like they were textbooks, and I learned all the secrets and everything. I long can you tell that my friend, my brain? Wow, I was gonna say my brain is fried, but I mixed all those words together. Can you tell that my brain is fucking fried? My friend is bribed. <laughs> I said them like they were textbooks and learned all the secrets, everything from attracting guys to smiling better. But <laughs> looks like it was all for nothing. I could have. I couldn't be loved unless I became pretty. Now I am. I still can't have it. I guess I'm doomed. I'll never be loved, will I? It's not like I have any other redeeming qualities. Oh, Don't worry, I'll yell at him later. I'll kick his ass. I'll kick his ass and I'll be you're like, that's why you're that's why you got so no parents. Nice me. Just start beating him up. <laughs> I should have fallen in love with you. However, you're already in a relationship. What do you want to do? <laughs> Just kidding. Hey. Why don't you and I go out? You sure about that? You're a weird guy. I'm sorry. You're right. I'm sorry. Still a little confused. I smile sadly. You feel your relationship with I has grown deeper. I'm going home now. Thank you. You're welcome, I. You're welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome. Goodbye, 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 goodbye. You can work as a janitor. Is that what I did that night? It's what I did that night. Only two more days. Fucking cat, move out my way. God damn it. Only two more days, damn it. And then I'll be caught up. <laughs> I'll be caught up with the save file.
All right. I'm sorry. Oh, I thought you were gonna, you know, finish your thing. I'm sorry. You already done. You already done work today, aren't you? I wanted to say goodbye. Goodbye. I'm leaving this hospital today. Sayoko looked straight into your eyes. I grew to hate hospitals. All the life and death in the end. Everyone leaves, leaving me behind. I was lonely. Then I remembered. I remember that I wanted to help. I became a nurse because I wanted to save people's lives. I couldn't see that. I couldn't see that it was as simple as that. No, I probably didn't want to see it. Sayoko smiles gently. Uh. And to think that the one who would show me this is just some kid with a rag in his hand. <laughs> I tend to go for older rich men, and I landed a child. So, I'm going. I'm gonna find the path I gave up on. I thought I couldn't do it, but I will walk that road. I'm gonna go I'm gonna be my own guide. Thinking, walking, taking responsibility for myself. Once I've done all that, I think I can finally say that I truly lived. Will you take this? Yes, ma'am. She gave you hospital ID. I give you the person I was when I was here. Sayoko looks at you gently. You feel a strong bond between yourself and Sayoko. Fucking nice job. Maxed out. All right. Damn it. Thou art I and I art thou. Thou hast established a genuine bond. These genuine bonds shall be your eyes to see the truth. We bestow upon you the ability to create Beelzebub, the ultimate form of the Devil Arcana. Beelzebub is a fun name to say. I'm gonna say this, it's just as much to myself as to you. What's right? What you should choose to do in life. The answers to those things lie within you. So long. Farewell. Goodbye. Toodaloo. Ta-ta. Or as I call him, Big Flyboy. <laughs> Jesus. Beelzebub's cool. What the fuck are these students talking about? What's so goddamn important? Wonderful day once again, see your face, you know, it's a real liberating, blah, blah, blah. Back then, it cost us what say, oh, there isn't none anymore. What, did you say something? Oh, yeah, make me waste my breath. My head still hurts. Anyways, blah, 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 another day of the glorious weather. Oh, yeah, ha, ha, ha. I wonder, I wonder what will destroy the world. Getting excited, can't wait. All right, Kefka. It's fucking out here. Just gonna destroy the world because it sucks. Today I hang out with Ko. Hey, it's Ko. Oh my god, classroom's in the uproar. Who cares? People are gonna die. You know, not only that. They make you skip time if you go and kick a dachi's ass, but every fucking day you gotta read all this shit. <laughs> you don't have to, but you know. Every day students are talking and talking and talking and I just want them to shut the hell up. Alright, Ko, let's hang out. Let's get this over with. Because I hate sitting in this chair. I gotta use the bathroom. And this stream has been going on for long enough. You attended basketball practice. When am I going in? Not this stream. <laughs> I thought I was gonna go in this stream, but I didn't think the story would take fucking like two and a half hours to go through. Co wanted to Co wanted to be by the river, so he stopped by on the way home. Fog has enveloped the area. This place brings back a lot of memories. The first time I came here was also my first time in town. Right after that, right after the Ichijo family took me in. 
The sky was totally clear except for the setting sun, and the light hitting the water made it shine. It was beautiful. It helped me decide something. I thought, from now on, I'm an Ichijo. I convinced myself that the old me was dead. At least, that's what I thought. Like, date-wise? Oh, on the 24th. <laughs> on the 24th. Uh, but you were just a kid then, right? The 24th <laughs> is the last day you can go in, so I'm gonna go in on the 24th. Yeah, isn't that crazy? A little kid thinking like that? But I guess even kids have stuff on their minds sometimes. Funny thing is, I never really became an Ichijo. I looked, sounded, and acted like one. But it was just a mask I wore. And now that I don't have to wear that mask anymore, I guess it's time to step off the stage. I think it's time to keep it stepping. <laughs> Alright. Hmm. Don't jump to conclusions. Well, I haven't reached any conclusions yet. Besides, I never just wander off without telling you guys. <laughs> it just makes me feel kind of empty, knowing that my real parents are dead. It's like, I have no roots. We should go visit their graves after practice sometimes. I wouldn't even know where to find them. I've got a letter, but whoever wrote it didn't sign it. They didn't mention my parents' name either. Whoever handed you over, whoever hand, eh, whoever handed you over to the orphanage wrote that letter, right? Wouldn't that mean they've been holding on to it for like ten years? It's pretty rough asking someone to remember what happened ten years ago. Ten years ago. You're still carrying that thing? Yeah. Well, I can't let anyone at the house see it, so. Huh? Damn. At least Ko has more common sense when it comes to hiding letters. Take notes. Fucking Narakami, you dumbass. <laughs> I'm just gonna open this letter in front of the whole family. Hmm. The name on the front, Kosama, is smeared. Like someone rubbed their hand against it. Maybe they just wrote it in a hurry. Plus the corner of the envelope is sharp enough to give you a paper cut. What do you think? That shit was written recently. He thinks so too. What does this mean? I think the head of the orphanage must have written it. When I visited, she could probably tell I was depressed. Hey, cheer up, man. Even if it is a fake, it sounds bad to call it a fake, but she didn't do it to pull a fast one on you. No, you got it all wrong. I'm happy. I'm glad there's such nice people out there in the world. Maybe the letter is true, or maybe it's just a nice lie. But all the same, someone was there to give me birth. Someone was there to raise me. And someone's there to watch over me like this. I thought I had no roots, no ties to anybody. But that's not true. It took you long enough to get the picture. Stupid. I know you are, but what am I? I'm the one who told you that you always have us, stupid. Well, I'm rubbering your glue. Ko's eyes red, but he's laughing. It seems you were able to support Ko when he needed you most. Support him. Just a little bit. Just tiny bit. Tiny little smackle. Oh, just tiny. Tiny bit. <laughs> Man, you got a real ugly mug. You know that? Wanna go for a swim ugly? <laughs> It'll be like old times. <laughs> Just fucking call him ugly. Yeah, come to think of it, we used to play around here, didn't we? You know, not like a bunch of, a couple of boys just getting wet for the fuck of it. <laughs> fucking no way, man. What? Like you got a choice. Jackass. Oh, it's freaking cold. You horsed around in the river with Ko and Daisuke and then went home. You know, ain't nothing weird about it. A couple of guys playing in the water with their shirts off, wrestling, skin to skin contact, making out a little bit. Nothing wrong with that. 
All right, what the fuck did I do at nighttime? I went and hung out with Shu, and then the next day, for some reason, I decided to go to the daycare? What the fuck was I smoking? Three bows, three bows? Why'd I say it like that? Three bros chilling in the river. Exactly. You know? Uh, two. Tutor Chu. About this. I memorized this formula. What exactly does it mean in real life? I don't fucking know. <laughs> These equations can be used in a bunch of different situations, huh? The people who came up with them are geniuses. I wish I was a genius. Two feet apart. Ooh, what? I can't read no more. I can't even speak no more. Two feet apart cause Corolla? Corolla? Two feet apart because Corolla. <laughs> you mean Corona? COVID? Let's see. Uh, work hard and you can be. You can become a genius through hard work? I thought you had to be born as one. I've already been tr trying pretty hard, in my opinion. Still not enough. She thinks to himself. I'm sorry. I've been... Eh. Sorry, I've been... I can't even read no more. The word is tired. I can't even say the word tired. <laughs> I'm sorry, I've been tired all day. I've been tired today. Can we finish the rest of the lesson next time? Shu looks pale. Mister. When doesn't he look pale? Listen, Shu looks pale, but... I'll give I'll give credit where credit's due. That, that boy got a nice-ass fade going on. Let's change the subject to something else. What's up? What's up? Alright. Let's see. The other day on TV, I saw some whack shit. Yes. They always talk about what happened on some shows or another. I don't watch that kind of stuff, so I never know what they really talk about. <clears throat> oh, I'm sorry. Looks like we're already out of time. Thank you very much. Thanks for talking with me today. I think I was able to relax a little. I'd like to hear some more later. Is he at rank 8? No, he's at seven. I honestly didn't think I would get this far with shooting this playthrough. Then goodbye. <laughs> goodbye. Bye bye. Please now. come back again. All right. And then we have the last day of my notes, which is the 23rd. Which, for some fucking reason, I guess maybe everyone must have been busy, but I said, fuck it, let's go hang out at the daycare center. I don't know why. Take care. Well, I got some developed the area. You helped out the daycare center. Huh? You could. Why the fuck is the boy named you two? I hate it. You could. You don't know who Phoenix uh, Phoenix Ranger Featherman are. You suck. How dare you! Yukun is gonna get us. Run, everyone! Yuta chases his friends as his face turns red. Once again, children tug at you from all directions. Yukun, let's go home. It's getting late. Aiko, we're going home. When is he coming back? Huh? Huh? You mean your father? I don't know yet. I'm going home with Ryoko. <sighs> I guess he wants to see his father. I don't know, probably. Most likely. Is that what I chose? No, I chose this one. I don't know. He hasn't said anything to you about it. <laughs> I'm just a stranger who barged into his life six months ago. So I feel a bit sorry for him. My husband kind of set me up. He only told me he had a child right before we got married. But I thought he was the one for me, so I figured the three of us would be able to work it all out. Then right after we got married, he was sent off to China on business. Oh, nah, he's locked up somewhere. <laughs> they, they're keeping his ass hostage. <laughs> You're never gonna see that man again. 
he keeps in contact with me, but yeah, he he keeps in contact. You sure it's not a fucking sleeper agent? Doesn't change the fact that he's not here. He's so inconsiderate. Mm. The art gallery literally calls Adachi's draft design sus. Yeah, I know, right? Don't worry, I'm gonna I'm gonna show off all the extra shit when we finish the game. But yeah, they show like the original stuff. <laughs> They're like, yeah, we had to change his look because he looked too fucking suspicious. That, and he was ugly as shit. <laughs> that guy looked like a walking fish. Um, what I choose is, do you love your husband? Hey, Ari, do you love your husband? I mean, listen, he's not there. Huh? Uh, I don't know. When I married him, I thought he was the one, but I'm not sure anymore. Even so, there's no reason to get a divorce, right? Yeah, you don't need to get a divorce. What's the hassle of getting divorced? Just, you know. He's not home. Just have a little relaxation to yourself. Kick you to out the house. Invite some friends over. Particularly me. Maybe I rushed into marriage too quickly. When he told me I wouldn't have to work, I thought it'd be a good idea, but... <laughs> I don't tell my husband, okay? Here he's smiling, but you can tell... Uh, but you can't tell if it's genuine. Feel like you understand the area a bit more. I wonder if you two is home by now. I better be going soon. It was nice seeing you. You finished your job and went home. Why does an initial Rize look like I? Because she was supposed to be a um delinquent. She was supposed to be a delinquent, and Kanji was supposed to be a third year? He was supposed to be an upperclassman? Like, they changed... I think the people who didn't change that much was Yukiko didn't change that much, and I think Naoto, Naoto's character design didn't change that much, but Naoto's... Um, but Naoto's, like... But they changed Naoto's gender, right? Because Nato was originally supposed to be a guy. It's supposed to be like androgynous. But then they changed it up. Alright. So, did I save in the right slot? I think I did. Alright. So this is where I left off at. On my goddamn playthrough. And the next day we're going to head into the dungeon. But I do not have time to do that for this stream. That and I've been... I've been holding it in for a bit, so I gotta run to the bathroom. So, that's gonna be it for Persona 4 right now. Uh, I honestly didn't think that this stream, that we would not be going to the dungeon this stream. I thought we would, and we would finish it. But fuck, I didn't think the story would take that long. Jesus, man. God damn it. But anyways, that's where we're gonna leave off on. So, you know... You know the schedule already. Next time we come to Persona, we're going to be heading into the dungeon. And then... Hmm. And then I think we're going to... I think we might fucking head into both dungeons, actually. But whatever, we're, we're getting close to the end of Persona 4. <laughs> close to the end. So maybe... Maybe like four more streams? Maybe? I'm not sure. But anyways, that's going to be it for now. And that's the plan for Twitch, right? Uh, for YouTube. I was supposed to upload shit last week. God damn it. I keep getting so busy. My job is a pain in the ass. But, um, I did upload a new episode of, uh, Nightmare Before Christmas. There was a problem with that, though. For some reason, the audio got fucked up, so the game audio is, like, louder than it should be. And I tried to fix it, but I could not. So, sadly, the last couple of parts are just gonna be like that. But, I have recorded and it's finished. Um... And I think that's it for now. I'm going to leave and run to the bathroom. So, you know, once again, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Stay happy. Stay healthy. Take care. I'm going to die in like two seconds. I'm a chef, chef too.